Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and the home of the sixth annual Atari Awards. It's Homebrew the home. Awards. Yeah. The home. The That's home. where it lives. That's right. home. Yep. And today is the last day of the playthroughs of all the nominated games. And today we're going to finish it off with Atari 8 bit games. So, oh boy, we have a bunch of great games for you today. We're going to be playing through four categories, very quickly, of all the Atari 8-bit games. So, Homebrew Original, Homebrew Port, and then the Work in Progress Original Games, and the Work in Progress Port Games. Nice. And we're also going to be finishing it up, after that, with a new game called Tony for the Atari 8-bit. It is a platformer, adventure platformer. Nice. And it looks lots of fun, and uh, the graphics are just absolutely stunning on it. Um, but today, but before we do that, uh, we're going to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. They're right down there, near Atari, who you can't see. <laughs> you can't see him. can't see him, but he's near it. He might, he might bite your, your name a little bit. Nom, nom, nom. Hey, pseudographics. Uh, 8-Bit Poet, Alan the Fur, Andrew Atari, Arms Guard Coder, Atari 800, XO Rules, Atari 74, Atari H Beef Supreme, BR Polka, Bruno Stacks, Calico, Cell Dogs, Charles Donnie Charles Will and Chitla, Crypt of Coffee, Cubanismo, Sierra Reboot, Dale, Andrew Darling, Dan of C, Daryl 970, Dave M, DMX, 87, Dr. Mook, Hells, Fiero, Doug, Gamer, Composer, Gamma Dev, Gangsoft, Grey Defender, Ground Trooper, Jew, uh, Haroldo, Haroldo, Jew. Uh, Jimothy Sunshire, John DWC, Carl G. Karakat, Croco 2600, Veltifer, Lambda Express, Lord Kraken, Machine Gex, Marky Anna, Sparks Base, Ink, Metal, Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Town, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarn, Move, Mr. Fix, Mighty Fans, Denise, Germany, Omedia, Nostalgic, Pseudo Graphics. Hi. Uh, Kohog, RC70, Render Ghost, Repentless, VG, Revan, Tully, Rodcaster, Six Weeks, Spinny B, Spicewear, Spinly, Esther Mirrors, Stage One Boss, The D Train, Tiki Dan, KTM, Advanced Token Muncher, Toweeny, Twilight Zoner, Vexrax, Vintage Game Memories, VVG Double Down, and if you would like to support the show as well, hit subscribe. It's free with Amazon Prime, just like somebody named Drexal did just before the show started. And uh, Toweeny did yesterday. Thank you so much. The cats appreciate it a lot. What are you up to there? What is he doing? Is he oh, molesting something. that it's star? Small. I suspect that <laughs> maybe some catnip which lives above it oh, uh, has uh, impregnated that down spot. There. Well, he's all like, nom, nom, nom. Mm. Naughty cat. So, I mean, I'm hoping it's catnip and not something nasty. <laughs> oh, nasty? <laughs> like cat nasty butt. Nasty cat. Just some cat butt. Oh, cat butt. <laughs> so there are three days left to vote in the Atari Homebrew Awards. So if you have not voted yet or not completed all the categories or the categories you want to vote in, you have three days left. It closes Sunday just before midnight Pacific time. So when does it close? Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> um, so get your votes in. Uh, we're going to wow. be playing 8-bit games today, so you can check those out if you haven't played through those. And you can use our, our brief playthroughs to uh, help you form your opinion. Uh, so uh, we're playing 8-bit games today. And the last episode that I played 8-bit games on, my uh, Atari 800XL was acting up. Mm -hmm. It was being very naughty. I saw the hood was up last yep. uh, time I was here. Yeah, I was poking my head under the hood of it, and um, uh, it was yellow, let's say. Let me just show you what was I, going on. You mean on. the screen? The, yeah. Because well, I keep looking at it yellowed. and looking and thinking, like, <laughs> and being confused just for a second. Do you mean you just cleaned it? Like, what? <laughs> I retrobrighted it, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, it, uh, the output on the add-on card, the VBXE card, which does RGB output, was, um, I mean, I've had this problem before, but it was yellowed. But it was only yellowed some of the time. Um, so it was really yellow. Wow. This yeah. last time. Like, before it was just a slight sickly yellow. This time it went full yellow. Hmm. And I was like, okay, what the hell's going on? So what? So what <laughs> caused that? Did it, like... Like, it just, did, were all the colors, like, one color off? Like, did it just, like, kick <laughs> it over question. into, the, like, the next I digit, think, or I what? I think one could be capacitors. Right, the capacitors, but, like, what did they change? <laughs> 
to make it yellow. Because this doesn't look like this looks like yellow, like intentionally yeah. yellow. It doesn't look. It's not before like before it was like a little like. Did it just go yellow? That was like the question before. Yeah. Is it a little off? Now it was like, no, it's off. I thought that was part of the game we were playing because it cut to yellow right as a level ended and the next one started. So I was like, oh, this is part of it. Then we went to the next game. I was like, is it a little off? Like a lot off? <laughs> so it seems like it like almost cut one of the colors out completely or increased one of the colors a lot. Yellow. Um, <laughs> so, I see. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense then. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, there's no more subtlety with the yellow. It's full on yellow now. Oh, let me scroll back up. Um, so, it was only outputting through VBXE, the add on board. If I connected to the, like, the standard built in one that uh, outputs S video and uh, composite, it was fine. So, I knew it was the VBXE board. The next thing is like it comes and goes when I wiggle it or press down on it, mm -hmm. especially when the key, the case is on, the keyboard's on, because it's like pretty flush yeah. against it. So what I did, um, the chat gave me a lot of suggestions to try out. The biggest one was um, contact cleaner in the on the motherboard and the sockets. So there's mm -hmm. really two sockets. There's one where the VBXE add-on board plugs into the video socket. And then the Antic chip, which is the video card, the built-in one, plugs into the VBXE board for a pass-through, depending on what you're using. So I sprayed contact cleaner in both of them, put them, wiggled them in and out a bunch of times. Gone. Perfectly gone. Never came back. Did a five-hour burn-in on that with the case open. Perfect the whole time. So I was like, oh, maybe this is it. Finally. So you can see it down there. Changed from that to that. A lot better. Um, and then the next day, after I let it run for pretty much all day, um, I cleaned off the VBXE and Antic chip with IPA mm -hmm. just to get anything off it. And then I put Captain Tape on all of it because of the keyboard. There's exposed little tiny pins. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking maybe it's doing some shorting as well from the keyboard. And also it's pressing down and stuff. So cleaned it off so the Captain Tape stuck to it, put the case on. Screwed it down, did another burn in for, I don't know, three, four, or five hours. When you say a burn in, you mean what? You just let it run. Okay. Uh, just to see, you know, maybe it's something that's, that heat causes or, you know, you don't know. Long it enough for that if you had that kind of monitor, it would burn it in. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. I did turn off the TV though, because I just let it sit on it. And yeah, after that, perfectly white still. So let's hope for today. It's going to be good, so thank you, everybody. Captain Tape, hero of cassette loading. <laughs> yeah, Capton, K-A-P-T-O-N. Sounds like Captain. Um, Atari cannot actually display yellow on black or yellow on any other background than brownish. Oh, interesting. Uh, RGB has three sets of components. It, uh, capacitors is a good guess. It doesn't seem to be capacitors this time. Mm. And it was on, only on the VBX board, which I didn't notice any capacitors. But I'm sure there are. But not like the big round ones. They'd be the yeah, yeah. tiny square ones. Um, but the, do the tiny square ones... They, do they suffer the same problems of the I think they the fail. Ones? They can fail, but they don't, they don't like burst. explode yeah, yeah. and destroy your the whole computer, your motherboard. Thank goodness. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's best if it doesn't actually involve any burning. Yeah. Is it burning? Yeah, I'm doing burn-in. <laughs> Not <laughs> yeah. that kind of burn-in. <laughs> so uh, let's hope it's still good today. I turned it on this morning, still fine. Yesterday was all fine. Um, so we will see. Um, yeah. So let's uh, let's get into the games. We got a bunch of games to get through. No, we're not going to go in depth in any of these games. We're going to just be... You know, surface only. Very surface. Plan them for a couple minutes. Move on to the next so one. So if you notice we're having too much fun. Please stop us. Stop us. Stop <laughs> us from having Tell too us much Tell us you're having too much fun. Get too to the next fun. game. Get on with it. It can happen. And it does. <laughs> like, oh, this is fun. It has been known to happen. Yes. Yeah. Um, so there's like 24 games. We're just going to boom, boom, boom through them. So we're going to start off with uh, Atari 8-Bit 5200 Homebrew Original. So these are finished games. They've been declared finished. There's he's going to be uh, doing the honors. Uh, I use so. this again. 
Make sure you have it out of the right way up and uh, yeah, all the good stuff. Oh, it's already gone to screensaver, so let's turn this off and switch over to the right input on the streaming software. See if it's yellow. It's pretty white. There we go. That's nice and clean. So go into today's date, Homebrew Original, top one. And the first one is Binary Parasite by Martin Simacek. Mato Simi. Ooh, that's very loud. Sorry. Yes, it's both educational and fun. So you're the little one and zero. Oh, you know what? I do remember this one, but it's not the one that I thought I was remembering. Oh, there you go. Now you've changed the, uh, oh, oh. There you go, still over the little thing. You change the zero to a one by putting the little doodad guy over the one. Now you have to make a three in the bottom right hand corner. So you have to go retrieve the uh, little uh, bit changers, maybe? Now it's, uh, you've got a two. You gotta add a one to that two. And the two. Oh. oh, it's, yeah, it's the direction you move is the direction it moves. So if you're touching it and then go to the right, it will go to the right. So if you touch it and then move to the right, there you go. Yeah. I was just trying to get into a position where that could Yeah, it's tough. True. Ah. Ah. Stop it, you. Jump away. There you go. And the portal is open. And the puzzles get increasingly harder. So now there's a an eights column, a fours column, a twos column, and a ones column. And you need a five. First, and you eventually need, need a five. Nine. You need a nine first. Right, okay. So what does, uh, how do you get a nine from all those numbers? Uh, you do the eight, and then you stand on the one. There you go. Round, uh, Gamadev says uh, round ones can leak. He's talking about capacitors. Square ones, if they're RF, RIFA, just flood your house with toxic magic smoke. I'd rather have the magic smoke than destroying motherboards, that's for sure. There you go. Now I need five. Eight bit Ataris rarely suffer from bad capacitors, though. I never see repairs on eight bit Ataris. I always see them on uh, other machines. There, t there are one zero types of people in the world. Those no! that understand binary and those that so don't. So I'm screwed. You are screwed. Hold down the button, I think, to reset. Or is it down? There we go. News. And after this level, we will move on. So we've played, I would say, I think almost all of these games in our streams previously. So if you want to see more of the gameplay to higher levels or whatever, um, just check out uh, previous streams. Oh, that's actually... The portal has opened. Oh, that's our plan to save. <laughs> Going down below. So awesome music, awesome graphics, really uh, unique gameplay. Yeah. Tons of fun. I like your little uh, character, zero one character. Yeah, yeah. it's it's uh, very fitting. Uh, the next game is D O T A. Oh, what happened? Did I suppress the wrong buttons? It's apparently, yeah. press left and the button. Hold left and press the button. There you go. D O T A, also by Martin Simacek. Mato Simi. There you go. Part of the ABBUC software contest. Revision 49. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. You can't see it. All the arrows are watching it. Oh, yes, this game. So you have to find the thing. You can't see the thing, but other things point to the thing. And you put your, I think, cursor over it, and then you press the button when you think... Okay, press the button. Let's get to it. There. Okay. So, they're all pointing to where you need to put it. 
da 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 You did it! Great music again. <laughs> Binary Parasite, clearly an allusion to the greatest song ever, Weird Al's Amish Paradise. Great song and a great music video. T Tanya and I were uh, watching a thing about Weird Al uh, the other night, and the artists that didn't like him doing parodies of their song, or told him no, um, but we're discussing which of the, his greatest music videos, and I think it's between Amish Paradise and White and Nerdy, right? Right? Yeah. White and Nerdy? Yeah, they're both great. Yeah, <laughs> which has Key and Peel in it before they were super, super huge. So everybody that goes back and watches White and Nerdy now, it's like, oh my god, Key and Peel are in it. <laughs> and sometimes they move, so you have to get it at the right timing. Oh, fail. You have two more tries. Nice. <laughs> Jedekiah, I preferred IPA in my most most of my retro games, but tried to limit myself to a six pack. Never drink IPA. Oh, that's our sign to move on. <laughs> Hi, buddy. You really like that note. Okay, uh, next game is Night Dude Night. Story. You can't, just, you can't just leave. Nope, you, you must can be. check it out whenever you want, but you can never leave. That's right. Anytime you want. Okay, you can leave because you're more persistent than I am. Okay, next game. Next game. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Dude Story uh, by uh, Mariusz E. Heshtet, MQ, for code graphics and music. This one's a little bit Oh, uh, yes. I saw the weird movie you saw the weird oh you did what did you think of it? oh it's so good yeah it's yeah. like <laughs> if you're a fan of weird al you're gonna love the movie i don't it's... think you need to be a fan of weird al you to don't. love the movie like genuinely but it does it it has the same sense of humor his his songs do it's the, the it's it's like it's a spoof of uh, it's a spoof of like he does spoofs of songs, and then he, they did a spoof of the the biography or movie yep. or whatever it is, the life of Rockstar. Yep. It's so good. <laughs> it was. Oh, you oh. went to heaven. Is there some way to jump? Yeah, you did jump. Try it now. Up. Oh. There you go. Oh, and you can do it while you're. Um... You can do diagonal jumps. Ah. There you go. So. Uh... In this game, you collect apples for kind of life, and you go on quests, and you bring things to people. Uh, this is the Polish version, because the English version wasn't released, I think, in 2023. It was only afterwards, or we're just playing the Polish version. It's okay. Whee! Whee, the butterflies! Play with the butterflies! So you really want to go... Try to get that cloud. You know, you can't. Oh, no! Oh, my God, you almost died. Do you want to go all the way to the left, to the wizard's house first? Oh, why did I go this way? I imagine how difficult it is to pronounce... Ah! E-hashtat. Uh, for an English speaker. It is... It's, it's challenging. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to climb a thing and then... Yeah, there you go. Up, okay. up the... Yeah, some of the um, platforms are a little subtle. Oh, you can't get up there. You do have to jump across. Ah! Ooh. Ah! <laughs> there. Oh my god, you're living on the edge. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, you just missed the just platform. Missed that. Slipped into the muddy bank. <laughs> it's deadly, deadly water. As in most video games. The water is terrible in video games. Yeah, I... Ah! <laughs> Follow I, with the spider. I'm doing a challenge mode. You can only have one life. <laughs> so you got to get rid of them. Opt <laughs> Yay. Okay, don't touch that that wasp or and or bee. No, it's definitely a wasp. Bees are our friends. I think when I played this game, I used my um, special joystick that um, from Double Down that um, has a but second button assigned to jump. Okay, you have to skip through this because I can't speak Polish. So you go up. 
Oh, no, you have to get enough apples for him first, I believe. But I have... You have one apple. It is not enough apples. Not but enough I apples. got two apples. Hmm? What happened to the other one? Uh, if you get hit, it takes one apple away. You're kind of like... Health? There's an apple. Yeah. That's great. Means I have to start over. <laughs> There's more apples to the right. Ah! Not walking. No! <laughs> I re now I have to go back going. and get another apple? No, 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 no. How many apples do I need for apples. this guy? Uh, I have to go up. I can't remember. I think it's 15. I feel like you screwed me. Like I was headed in the right direction. You're like, no, you need to go see the wizard! Well, might as well show off the wizard. <laughs> ah! Ah! Your manic jumper. <laughs> Well, I'm I'm not I'm not sure if you can tell this, but I'm not 100% in control of my character. <laughs> I'm like your uh, little sister playing the video games. She's terrible. At it. Unless She's terrible. your little sister's good uh, at it. Get it! Get out of the. Uh, <laughs> uh, go in that hole there. That transports you somewhere else. I think this is where the pirate is. Yep. And uh, if you try and pass the pirate, he'll be like, give me some rum. So you have like different little quests. To get. Give to me the rum. Yes. Okay. That's, that's a quick preview of that game. Uh, next one is a Tenebra series by Ali Puladi, H4PL. So let's do uh, the extended one. Sure. Down. Yeah. There you go. This is a puzzle game as well. Oh, zero. Press fire. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, so you have you have to do things and you get torches. So walk, darkness walk with us. So you can only walk in the lit areas. This area is lit. So lit as the kids would say. Yay! Level one trainer is over. What? Torches... No, that was a challenge <laughs> level. Torches can be carried. So press fire to pick them up and you can press fire to drop them again. Okay. So press the button and there's your torch. And if you have the torch, you can walk and see things. Uh, yeah, that's a flickering torch effect. Not my whites I going back to blind, yellow. But Even though I we see. have encountered the yellowness in this game when in my uh, si system was acting up. So this one's, I think, more of a just a, a maze to let you see. know how the torches work. Another tutorial level. And Tanya and I had a lot of fun playing this one because it's it gets more and more and more puzzly as time goes on. You can squeeze through the cracks Z and N in the wall if you're not holding a torch. Ooh. It gets. More crazy. So now I see two torches and the door, and I see the end, but you can't go through the end with the torch. So you just have to make it to the next torch. And there you go. I'll give you one more level. Light radii can be different. Oh. So now I got another torch up there. There's a torch over there that's brighter. Uh, Is that right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you can't quite make it. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, I can't quite make it there either. You're gonna have to use the power of two torches. Oh, I don't think I, uh... oh, I see. There, now there's a path there. <gasps> but you can't get that torch. All right. It's, it's, 
like a twist on like dungeon games where you can only see a bit except the whole goal is to just see oh i don't think that's quite gonna work oh no no i need the big one and there and now you have a path da -da -da! and it gets more and more and more things added on it is it's very cool a very cool puzzle game very very creative and the last one for best atari 8-bit 50 hundred 200 homebrew original is time wizard i think i was showing you this one yesterday when wizard it, of time yes you will become a wizard of time if so you, you don't talk to game. a wizard and have to give them apples you get to be the wizard you are the wizard this time you've graduated boot boot, boot error, error. I don't even have any boots on. Oh, is that the error? What, what, what's going on? Oh, oh, it's still loading. No. Nope. Maybe it's going to make its way through the error. Um, powered by Amarok. So this is by uh, Kshishtof Petrovsky, uh, a.k.a. Amarok. Thomas, uh, you only missed one. Last one, I only missed one. Yeah, so this is the last one in the first category. Look at that beautiful output for what's from the future. Start it up. Start it up. You have to play level one. Oh, no. It remembered. Oh, play level one. Start from level one. This one is beautiful graphics. Beautiful sound. So you are up for jump, I believe, again. I'm gonna just collect all these uh, time things. Yep. I don't. And I don't believe I need them because I am a wizard of time. <laughs> yes. Those are just. They're like fuel for your soul. You guys confuse me. <laughs> you you missed uh five entries. This is the last entry on the first category that we're doing today. But the first one, I think, where you get to be the wizard. Yes. Oh no, you're so stuck! Now you press to hold down the button mm -hmm. and press left to rewind. Oh, keep going. And you can rewind faster by pressing more lefts. And it doesn't rewind you getting the timepiece, it just rewinds you. Um, so this, I, I think when we we're playing this on the show, um, we we're talking about this being re reminiscent of other, obviously, rewinding time games like uh, Braid, which is the first one I encountered of that rewound ta time and used as a uh, mechanic in the game. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure which was the first ever game to rewind time, uh, but... The first arcade game to remember time going back was Food Fight. It did an instant replay of gameplay you did. That was the first ever video game. Just a little bit of trivia there. Oh, I've perhaps died. But I wonder what the first... Oh, you can still rewind time. But the first game that led you rewind in gameplay. I don't know what that one is. Excuse, distracted by 2600 coding. That's a great excuse. It's a, a very uh, worthwhile excuse and benefits society. Ah! <laughs> or at least benefits those people who enjoy amazing games. Uh oh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> think you're going to have to rewind a bit further. Way further, way further. Oh, I don't think you can get back up that. You're gonna have to rewind back to when you were on it, mm -hmm. or before it, if you don't want to jump back over there. Faster! Oh, there you go. Now there's a ladder down over on the left. I think you can go down the ladder. <laughs> jump! You have the power of jump! In no, addition. I don't. <laughs> That's a power you have, but that I uh, don't have with that. Now you have to make your way to back to the uh, teleporter. Yeah. Which I think you can jump all the way back. Oh, there's things happening. 
Oh, ah. you hit your head on spikes and you died. So they're insta-death spikes, not step carefully and it's okay. Prince of Persia spikes. Yeah, they are insta-death. They are laced with poison and super, super sharp. So super fun game. Uh, I do wish to play that one further because we didn't make it all the way through when we played it. Oh, I was just telling me <laughs> to do the show. Better. For Soon? the live stream, because uh, the, the uh, time on the calendar was a uh, different time. Oh, I didn't update it. Well, it said uh, 11. Mm. It's treat time. Oh. Yum time. <gasps> Good timing. Yum, yum. We're in between categories. It's treat time. It's treat time. Treat okay. time for so little kitties. So there's three bells now, right? <laughs> One for Darcy. Yeah. Only if you I, eat the treats. I'll play Atari because you got so many snacks last night and I don't think you could fit any more into your belly. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's talk about that. <laughs> Okay, start start the betting. Bet on your cat. We've got Sprite, we've got Atari. You want to, might want to close the door when it's opportune. Uh, no. no. <laughs> it's not opportune. No. Don't force him in. He'll come in on his own when he hears the bells. So, the bets are on. You can bet on Sprite here. He is the black cat. Or you can bet on this gray cat. He is Atari. Um, so let's switch over to the cat betting screen and see how the bets are going. We've got some bets on Sprite 1 and 2. It is Puss and Bets time. Categories. Hilarious. So just hit the predict button at the top of your screen, then pick a cat and pick by how many points you think which cat We'll ring the bell to ten times first. And uh, it is <laughs> channel points. They're not worth nothing. They're worth glory and fame. Yes. That's it. You can use them to uh, initialize treat time. <laughs> yes, you can recycle them back into treat time. Who had the most breakfast? Oh, this one here. Oh, yes. This one here. I, <laughs> tell I was tell the story. I was sleeping on the sofa bed. And I woke up in the night to hear Russell, 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 munch, munch, munch. And I was very tired. And I wasn't sure if I was hearing what I was hearing. And I fell asleep again. And in the morning, I woke up and found that a cupboard was open. And a food bag had been sort of dragged out. And little oh. kibbles were being pilfered through the night. Oh, and I was not imagining things. That I was, I was genuinely hearing munch, 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 munch all night. <laughs> So I think these cats got very well fed last I night. I think it was this one. I'm not you sure this one. He, if the cupboard was open and that bag was open, there's no way this cat made it through the night without he filling looked, its he stomach. He looked very innocent, and he did not look like he was participating when I got up. Hey, I don't know about that. He's look a... how small he is. He doesn't <laughs> steal food. Let's feel that belly. Is that belly full? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. The time is up. Let's start the game get some get some treats out get them ready is everybody ready no. cats are you ready are you ready wait what are the rules i have to put the snack very gently near the bell yeah don't toss it all right because <laughs> otherwise these cats throw them everywhere and they get in the wires and oh my god make sure that you have the bells in the good spot for the yep. good cats okay back it off back it into your corners and go bring those bells and, oh, no, harder. Oh, Atari takes a lead in a rare start. Sprite's too full of treats to even ring his bell. There he goes. He's like, I ate so much last night. Oh, what a crazy night. Ring those bells. Okay, you can ring any bell you like, but it's going to be hard. I'm going to give that to Atari. And Sprite, one, one each. There you go. Good kitties. Don't fall for the innocent look of cats. Yep. And Sprite gets another point. It's 3-2. Come on, Atari. Catch up. Ring the bell. Come on, Atari. Why are you ringing his bell? That's fine, but it's, it's three all. Maybe they're too far apart. <laughs> and Sprite's trying. He gets it. It's 4-3. And Atari sniffing the ground. Come on, Atari. Ring your own bell. And Sprite gets it again. <laughs> Don't you steal. He's like, this bell works really well. Yeah. Now Atari gets another point. He is falling behind. Oh no, Atari's taking his treat away. That's the death knell for Atari. It really slows him down. Sprite gets another point. 6-4. Totally 
Oh, Sprite gets another one. Oh, okay. Well, oh, I gave one to Atari. Which... Okay, well, it was hard to tell. He yeah. was pressing on it. Seven, five, eight, five. We're near game point for Sprite, of course. Oh, Atari gets another one. It's going to be very hard for Atari to catch up, especially he's taking his treats away. Oh, a very slight ring, but Sprite does get it. It is now game point for Sprite. And he's not even moving away from his bell. He is staying steadfast near it. And it is, it's over. It's all over. 10 to 6. Devastation. Devastation. I'm glad that I shared the the uh, the insider trader information with everybody. <laughs> so it's outsider trader information. You all should have known that this cat was not going to be as fast because <laughs> he was chewing he was all night. Laid down by all that extra food inside. Uh, <laughs> yep, that has to be disclosed. It makes sense to disclose that kind of information. Okay, it is Sprite by four whiskers. So it's three plus for Sprite. Let's see who got that. It was all one person, mother three. Congratulations, you take home all the points. Congratulations. Well, because it was greater than three? Uh, yeah. Ah. Yeah, so it falls into the three plus. <laughs> Eventually, Atari will win by three plus again. Very true. <laughs> and if you just put a little bit on Atari three plus every day, and it, once it pays off, it'll pay off big. But That's only sure. if everybody else doesn't follow that little bit of... Yeah, so only strategy. one person does that. <laughs> if everybody does it, it's not going to work very well. <laughs> okay, time for the next category. Mm -hmm. Thank you to Mother 3, who, who won. <laughs> oh, very good. Invested 5,000, won 260. 2,060. 2,060, oh, okay. Oh, that's true. He, he did trigger the t the cat betting, but everybody enjoyed it, right? That's what counts. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so let's back out of this menu and go over to Best Atari 8-bit 5200 Homebrew Port. And Port. the first one up is Block Attack by Tomasz Bila. Tebe for the code. And uh, Jaroslaw uh, Vyshinsky uh, for the graphics. And uh, Piotr Lis uh, and Vin Samuel for the music. Based on Tetris Attack by me. So flip, flip, flip characters to make matches. Flip characters to make matches. Oh, I see. Yep. So I don't know what you meant by flip. Flip them. Flip them, not those ones. No. Oh, maybe it's three in a row. Yep. Three in a row. I'm feeling very dense. Uh, there's some, get those three stars in the left-hand side. There. Yeah. Flip. Flip that one. Nope, not that one. Not stars. Um, uh, diamonds. Uh -oh. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, like I feel like that was not a very hard game. <laughs> <laughs> you got to move fast though. But yeah. So let's see. There's, I wasn't seeing it yet. Three, I wasn't seeing three how, there. I wasn't seeing like patterns yet. Oh uh, yeah. I understand how it worked. Okay. I got no. I got no. I'm not blaming the game. I'm blaming the Darcy. Blame the Darcy. I blame the cats, but you can also make them fall down if you um, move ones out of the way. Uh, let's see. Uh -oh. ah, ah, so this is where I was. Ah, I was looking ah, and I was like, I don't ah, even see anything. To <laughs> ah, oh no. Oh, oh my god. I'm going to die. <laughs> oh my god. It's Putting based on knit is probably not the best idea. Yeah, NI do not invoke the wrath of the NI. Or the big N, as I call them from time to time. Uh, oh, there's some stars. Oh, four in a row. Very nice. This over. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, see, that's that's a mechanic I hadn't considered as possible. Over, over, over. Four in a row is always better. Let's just drop some down here. Oh, I'm gonna die again! Yeah. Oh my god. You are you are playing in like Oh my god. Like the endless mode starts like at Hearts. almost a quarter the speed of this. Yes. So like presumably this is fast by their reckoning not this much. Oh I have to say no right and then I can choose it everyone. Oh this yeah, this did you do time trial? Was yeah. it? Oh no wonder it's so crazy. Uh, yeah, this is a bit more, uh, reasonable. Oh, I just have to go on. And then another one. That's better. I like that when I accidentally get, uh, matches. <laughs> uh, let's move that out of the way. one of those games where it's easier for the person watching to play <laughs> than it, it is isn't for the for me person. right now. No, I'm, it's still not triggering. No? In the old <laughs> brain pan. Oh, four accidentally. Nice. Nice. Let's go like that. Oh, yep, there's an easy one there. Uh, you just push that out just to get rid of it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, this is much more reasonable speed. <laughs> you gotta work your way up to the fast speeds. Ooh, I see a potential for a full. You can do a five do right. if you do a right two. Ooh, let's try for a five. So you have to have a lot of things in place. I was just laughing because you're like, let's try for it's the hard thing. If we, <laughs> but let's try for the thing that we definitely would try for because it's how the game is. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just bugging. <laughs> uh, damn it! I want to get five circles, but I can't at the moment at all. Um, if I move that out of the way. Then do that one there. Then do that one there. And if I get another, oh, it's not one there. But there's uh... Ooh. some diamonds. Oh, I might be able to do a diamond. Diamond. Uh, five. Let's do that. There. There. There you go. Boom! Boom! And that'll end it. There we go. Showed up with five. <laughs> Just match an orange with another orange one. <laughs> Uh, next game is a Gold Diggers uh, by uh, Christian Valchik, Salmex, uh, Kashishtov uh, um who is Kaz, and Zoltar X for music. This one is a turn-based puzzle game. So press the button. Based on Mummy Maze by PopCap Games. There was a... Uh... Cat hair tickling my nose. Oh, the worst. There's like cats in this house or something. Oh, you can log in. Oh, this must use Fujinet. Nice. Okay. So you must make I it remember to the... now. I <laughs> yeah. remember now, yeah. Make it to the exit. And they can move two spots. Oh, okay. I'm already dead. You're already dead. So you can't... You... Yeah. I forgot the rules. Yeah, so did I. Until I... you moved. So you have to trap them into not moving. Like that. So they're stuck in the corner as long as you keep going. As long as you're above and to the right of them. So here, that one's very safe. Oh, no, it's not. Because they can right, kill you at the exit. You, yeah. That's right. I seem to recall... Oh, you have to trap them down there. Yeah. And this one, oh, it does keep track of steps. Okay. So there is like 
the best, best solution. solution. Yeah. Okay. I, the, the problem there is I thought I was a different person. So did I. I was like, which one are you? It makes it a little bit more because difficult. It, because, it, it, because if you were the yellow one, it actually still would have felt like it would have been hard. Yeah. Oh, and there's rules of they move horizontally first. Yeah. Then vertically. Is there any online multiplayer option for any of the Atari games? Obviously for the games that are multiplayer, like via Stella or something like that. Um, there are a few multiplayer games. Um, there's some built-in FujiNet games, and I do want to do a multiplayer, online multiplayer day as well. Um, there's a series of games, and I want to get the name of the um, developer right. They made, I think it's... Let me just look it up first. Eight bit slicks. And That's not the way. Yeah. An eight bit <laughs> eight bit slicks is available for the Atari eight bit, and you can race online with other people. We have done it, um, and they also make a number of other games too. can't find them right now. They're working on a number of games. Yeah, and there's some card games built into FujiNet as well. There are also network games for two or more Atari computers that are connected locally. Mm. Yeah, there's really, there really should be a lot more uh, multiplayer games online. That would be so good. Uh, that's what I was saying, if James could make a special stream event where someone could join to play together. See, that's that's the great thing about having a live stream and have it be announced beforehand, because then I can say, okay, everybody, we're going to play 8-Bit Slicks today, or a card game, or something like that. I should note that down and make that um, a special Nice! His money is saved! Next game! Uh, which is Inertia by Frantishek Hura Fandel. Um, and it is an 8-bit port. Go for it. I can't remember this. No, I do. Okay, it's a um, isometric a game where you're zooming around as a top. No? No starts? To press start. Not couch compatible. And you have to collect a bunch of. Yes, you have to move over dark areas. And um, yeah, just collect them all. And there's ramps and there's jumps. So it's Marble to do. Madness, but with the top. Pretty much. Yep, and flip screen. Marble Madness is a scrolling screen, um, but this is a flip screen because it's much easier to do. Much easier. And it's just a different type of game. Ah, uh, wall. And there's inertia. Imagine that. <laughs> and it gets very challenging. Uh, especially when there's narrow uh, walkways to have to go through. Spin Dizzy. Yeah, there's there there's been a number of games in the past like this. Obviously, this, so this is a port. Um, so you technically could go up that ramp and then over to get that one, but there's probably an easier way. And that's, this one I found very challenging because you have to stay on the ramp and create enough inertia to get that one, but not fall off of it. Ah. First one was probably Midi Maze from 1989. I think it even allowed connecting different computers together such as X, L, X, E, and S, T. Ah. Oh, and then there's a one. Oh, you got it! Woo! That's probably the easiest way is just to get each one as a as a run up. Woo! Woo! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, you died. That was an actual edge. Yeah, and I found it a little bit challenging to know what was like the edge of the world and the edge of like that one's <laughs> obvious because it's in the middle. Oh! Oh, you started off at the top. Oh, yeah. perfect. Okay, go slow. Oh, 
<laughs> no! Go slow. Can't try. Try hard. Just a little bit. Oh my god, perfect! Ding, 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 ding. Spin Dizzy for the C64. Oh, is never um, ah! ported to the 8 bit? Atari 8 bit? Oh, oh, there's one up there. Oh! Oh, you do have lives. You have two lives left. Might as well play them out. No! Oh, that was close. There's a little hole there. Oh, 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 <laughs> Into the void. <laughs> Stop it. So it starts where you last got a... Oh, oh, no! <laughs> Get out of that corner. Oh, 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 so fast. Uh... <laughs> it's very cool. Yep, very cool. Um type of gameplay. Next one is Night Night uh, by Lars Langhans and uh, Constantinos. No, uh, yeah, that one. Night Night. Well, there were two of them. Oh, go back. Uh, oh, do the TIX. Do that one. Uh, it's two different uh, graphic sets. One by TIX. Um, and Constantinos Geomalidus uh, TIX for additional graphics. I, I'm not sure what it is a port of. I have it in the list in my uh, Atari 8-bit 2023 list. If you want to know exactly which one it is a port of. Oh, I'm so glad the colors look good. Oh my goodness. So in this one, you walk over all the tiles while avoiding the baddies. Of course, every video game is like that. Avoid the baddies. So what am I gonna How do? How do you go down? Uh, you fall down. Okay. Yeah. Some games you can drop down by pressing down in the button, but this is not one of those. So what am I gonna do with you, Atari? We've had to put child safety locks on our stereo equipment upstairs because he likes to chew cables. But now, apparently, he's able to open cupboards. I don't know if it was just open a bit, oh. or if he actually opened it all the way. Yeah. Uh, oh. oh, now I have to go get the key. Oh, one second left. You ran out of time. Faster. Luckily, it doesn't reset the level, so you can just run and get the key. He's learning that's how it starts. Oh! Yeah, these cats are very food motivated. Yeah, I might have to do some childproofing. Luckily, I know what defeats this cat now. Um, because there's really not a. Uh, there is some places we could put the food. All the rest of his food is in cans, and he hasn't learned how to use a can opener yet. Unlike the cats in Red Dwarf who did learn to use a can opener. Somehow! I have no idea how they learned to use a can opener. But they did. And then they evolved. It's a cat. I think... Oh, they probably... Let's see. Yeah, I think that was in the book. Rather than the TV show, they didn't explain that they learned to use the can opener. Thing, because they would have run out of fresh food very quickly. 18 seconds. Oh, you did it. Yeah! Okay. You almost got Tail 50% of Darcy weight on you. Okay, you have one more level to complete. Then we're moving on. I love this game. The colors. Oh, right. Oh, well, game over. <laughs> That's it for you. That's it for you. Oh, I can't. I don't know why it was called Night Night, though. It looked like it was Night of Painting. Night of, night of <laughs> floor, floor Painting. Floor Painting with your feet. <laughs> because he's he's got a sleepy cap on. I don't know what where the night comes in. 
Ah, uh, I think the sleepy cat. That sounds familiar. Yep. Uh, Plan B, part two, Mission Unlikely, by uh, Frantisek Hura and uh, Michał Spilowski. Kittens? Was this an ATR? Yes, I'm hoping it is. It's not doing anything. Why isn't it doing anything? I don't see any flashing of light. Neither do I. Is it thinking? Is it thinking? It's thinking hard. Hardly thinking. Let's try that again. Oh, it's not even resetting. Okay. Hard, hard, cold boot, cold boot. Plan B. This one? Yep. Do it. Crush now. Fingers, crush fingers. Oh, it's not even, it's not, it's like going into the directory and like and that's not the it. program. Oh, that's a directory. Uh, okay. Let me just. But, well, let's do the other game. Let's do the other game. Well, oh, because no, no. you I can't. Have to do it anyway. You so. can't. The game, is the game played off that or loaded off that? It's, it's loaded off Can that. Can you take it out once it's loaded? That's what I was thinking. Is you could oh. start the other game and then. Oh God, no. I don't think oh, so. Oh. I wouldn't want to risk it anyway. Oh God. God no. Oh god no. <laughs> oh god. Does anybody have the answer to that question? Oh, it was empty. No, it wasn't doing nothing. It was showing An empty nothing. folder. Yeah. So it was just sitting there yeah. on a blank screen. Yeah. Oh that's so that silly. That makes sense. So silly. Luckily it's very quick fix. That's why it was doing nothing. <clears throat> okay, let's try this again. Plan B, part two. XEX loads immediately. Mission unlikely. Plan B, part two. Joystick is movement. What? <laughs> Joystick is movement. That's the best instruction ever. Joystick is movement. Oh, we haven't played this on this show. Oh, boy. You are a robot. That other robot is moving around randomly. I would go to the... Oh, another one showed up. I would go to the desk. It looks like it has a key. You've got the key. So now that may open the door? Doesn't look like it did. It's partly opened. Oh, uh, maybe do some more searching up there. Oh, shoot it! Ah! Like, press down. Up, down. Down and button. Pseudographic says, like... I think you can remove the card when the game is loaded? Mm. Maybe shoot the door. <laughs> Robots are getting in your way of shooting the door. <laughs> They're sacrificing themselves for the door. But it is opening, so shoot the door some more. Maybe it's shooting the robots. No, it's the door. Shoot the door. There we go. All right. So this is a monochrome high-resolution game. Oh, get that away. Sounds like something a robot would like. Oh, can't go through there. Oh, we should play some of the show. How come I haven't played this? Too many games. Oh, a little wrench. Very reminiscent of old school uh, European. Very eight, reminiscent eight of. Oh, games. Yeah, this is the uh, yellow on brown. <laughs> it is the yellow on brown. Ah, getting attacked. Oh, another key. Good. You have limited ammo, somebody says, so do not waste it. Oh my god, this room is very full. I'm guessing those are more ammo, maybe? That's what I was going to get. Some more ammo. Nope, it was not. What was it? I don't know. Didn't give you anything, except maybe score. Get the hell out of there. 96 left. 90. Oh, okay. Because it's an old school European 8 bit game. Oh, well, that's that makes sense. Why I think it's an old school European it reminds me of an old school European 8 bit game. A lot of those uh, um, games had a different name for every room, too. That was like another trope of those games. Oh, this room is crazy populated. You have a lot of shield. Look spiky. Oil! <laughs> That's 
that's one way to kill it. Just shield it to death. <laughs> oh, got a door. Oh my god. Oh. How to control. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Uh, I'm smart oil. Oh, you I shot got the a key. Oil. I don't know if shooting the oil does this. Oh, it does have the title at the top. I was looking at the bottom. Bad. So it does have that. Oh, no, this one doesn't have a title, so only some of them have a title. Oh, that is King. Is it? Yep. That is. I remember those European 8-bit games, mostly Spectrum ones, yes. And a lot of the Spectrum games were monographics as well, because um, the way they did color was assigned a to a block on the screen. So, if things... Oh, 21 shield. I predict you will die on this level. 3, oh. 2, 1, up, oh, and uh, 1 I shield left. I would have left. predicted I would have died uh, sooner. You appear to have slapped Given how... Oh, well, such a... Slap and dash and just... <laughs> just... Just... <laughs> That's cool. I gotta play that in the show. <clears throat> I don't know how I missed it. Uh, last game in this category uh, for a best Atari 8-bit 5200 home report is Space Taxi. One of my favorites from my C64 days. Nothing in this folder either. Oh, no. Big ol' ow. Fail. Why is it so staticky today? I thought I looked through all these for zip zippy files. Why doesn't it unzip things? Come on. Is zip that hard to deal with? Yes, it is. Uh, Pseudo graphic says you can remove the card when the game is loaded. Do you, he says you can, or you think... Uh, I think you can. See, that's very different from you can. Oh, well, no, you definitely can, but <laughs> may you. <laughs> may you? You may, but should you? try you? hard enough, you can get that card out. <laughs> <laughs> now, will it destroy the card and or the uh, adapter and or your system? Well, we could try and find out. We could, but I would need a deposit for a new uh, sub AVG. I don't cart. think you would need one. You'd want one. <laughs> oh, semantics! <laughs> Space taxi. Um, is do, we, do the first one. Color Clash was an issue unless it's a tile-based game for ZX Spectrum. Yeah, it's uh, a unique look. Let's say. To ZX Spectrum. Uh, this one uh, is by Andrea Cuccetto. Andrea Tari. C64 had tile colors too. Did it? I mean, if you were going by like Petsky, like dividing the screen up into using tile-based graphics. Oh, it's the vacuum upstairs. I'm like, what's that noise? Okay. Let's do it. You've played this. No? Space no, Taxi? So. Ah. so you press up for thrust. Not that thrust, but that thrust. And then you have to be not moving horizontally to land, and you have to press the button to put your landing gear down, and land nice and soft, and you can't move left or right when your landing gear is down, so you make sure you're, and then you take them up, please, take them to their destination, which is up. Next one, we'll have different platforms where you'll have to take them to different platforms and land. It is so fun! Oh my god, it's so fun. I think we completed this game. On the stream. Or no, we got very close. Because I was having trouble with one level. Or did we did we finish it after you fixed the difficulty? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, yep, you're on that. Yep. There you go. Hey, if you can just burn just like turn into an pixels why do you need a space taxi <laughs> it, it's a big question like how did they get there and if they can teleport why don't they just teleport to work maybe teleport costs a lot and they're like eh, i gotta take the cheap route and go on the space taxi one back to one 
No original Crazy Taxi for the 8-bits. Crazy Taxi? Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> the Crazy Taxi? The, like the 3D game? That'd be interesting. That'd be very cool. They'd have to change it. Maybe an overhead Crazy Taxi? Because they wouldn't be able to do a 3D Crazy Taxi 3. So I won't crash into him. He'll die. They're very squishy humans. Very squishy. Why? Why am I in this loop? <laughs> <laughs> ah. And and your tip goes down the longer you take. Of course. And you have to complete. Ah! Ah! Fiery you... death! Fiery death! Ah! <laughs> you and your passenger this is one have. One of those times where died. thrust is happy for the compressor, uh, whatever. Oh, you died again. <laughs> the compressor. Oh yes, on the microphone. Yeah, we solved that a long time ago. Was he the original person who's like, mute that Darcy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we but fixed that a long time ago. Why so loud? Muse Software, two games that became 3D franchises. Crazy Taxi and Castle Wolfenstein. That's... Tr is crazy... I mean, Crazy Taxi is probably not a direct... Oh, no! no. Oh! No. Oh, and with the... You can't even... Uh, you can't adjust your uh, direction. Not with, with your the, legs down. Yeah. No. Committed once you're once they're down. Yeah, I guess. So crazy. you actually don't have to not be moving side to side. You just can't much. control it. Uh, you can crash if you move too fast horizontally. But you can move like a little bit horizontally. Yeah, Crazy Taxi is definitely a play off of Space Taxi. I would say it's a direct. Okay. You get the idea. Now we're going to move on to Best Atari 8 Bit 5200 Homebrew Port. No. Work, Work in Progress. progress. Original. Now. Yes. Caverns of Iris by Peter Prodell. Good news. PPR. There's a file in that folder. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> good news, everyone. That is good news. <laughs> I thought I went through all the folders, but obviously I didn't. Yeah, you shouldn't feel bad about a tiny mistake like that. No, but I do. There's two games that have video only. Um, but we will get to them. I think it's still loading. Yep, still see the flashing. Thrust says, see, I can confuse people too. Caverns of Ear Riss. Dr. Arrack. Okay, press the button. Shoot! Shoot the things! Shoot all the things! Just, or avoid I... the things! Why can't you shoot? Oh, now you can shoot. Oh, there's a delay in when you can first shoot. Avoid the things! No! I think rule number one, avoid the things! Shoot the things and avoid the things! You know these rules. These are the rules of every video game. And pick up the things that aren't moving, or that are flashing, or that look like power-ups. Is there, is there rapid fire? Is there auto fire? I uh, feel no, that there is not. I, I did try it. Get that thing. Yay, power up. Oh, we got a new weapon. Oh. Sometimes you need oh, I gotta say, I like it. Oh, oh. oh. Did you lose the new weapon? Of course, that's, that's, how this, that's how this is. Yeah, you lost the weapon. Stuff like new weapons. <laughs> that went lose down. Lose things like new weapons. But... Yep, that went down with your ship, right? It's the new weapon. Two. Oh! Now you have it. Oh, no. You don't have it. That was something else. You have a phaser. So, uh, just what? Cool. Don't Why crash. Why is it sometimes two bullets? Don't crash into the, the sides of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I think the bar at the bottom is how close you are to the end. I think the weapon is like, it sometimes shoots the big weapon. Well, and you can see it's like a sine wave. It, or it seems to be. Or it's the closer you are to the ground? Oh, it's... Oh, it's interesting. It's sometimes big and sometimes small. Another weapon there. It looks like you do have um, shield as well, so it's not instant death. So I've seen you. But worse. 
fighting. Usually I'm We're not. fighting things that are... <laughs> Come back. That oh, are maybe I was saying trying to kill me, maybe? Yeah. It looks suspiciously like a power-up that moved. <laughs> I thought, oh, it must be a good one. I gotta chase it down. Dodgy power-up? Yeah. But, like, be. that one's a power-up. Uh, See what I mean? No, it is. That was the first power-up I got uh, was that X. It was just outside of where I could touch it. It was just tantalizing me. Oh, now you can get it. There you go. Disruptor. I don't know what that means. The bullets don't seem to be any better. But maybe, maybe, they're, they're, maybe they're stronger. Very I colorful. guess that matters when you need to shoot things twice. Sure. Like a boss. Like a like boss. boss. Very colorful, Carl G says. Yeah, lots of colors yeah. in the background. And your ship as well. It's constantly changing colors. It's like a predecessor of all LED uh, things. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I watched a, a cool documentary about the invention of oh. the blue laser. Uh, LED. Blue LED, not laser. Yeah. I didn't watch that one yet. It's very good. <laughs> it's by Veritasium? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next game is Demos Underworld by Thomas Schultz, 8-Bit Junkie, uh, Tobias Prinz, and Thomas Schultz, 8-Bit Junkie, and Hilton Thiessen for the music. So, collect the candy, avoid uh, ah, that. <laughs> avoid Do that. Do not dance with the monsters. They don't dance back. They kill. Yeah, that. those little faces. Don't touch uh. those. They kind of blend in with the background. And don't touch Which the is skulls. is a feature, not a bug. Oh, ah! You go in the arrows. You're forced to go in the arrows. Don't touch those unless you want to. Good to know. It's good to learn these things <laughs> on the fly in a video game, not real life. Yes. So if you go in those arrows, it points right towards a baddie. All oh, the candy. Oh, candy, I can. I can. I don't know how I'm supposed to get the one up there. Um. Not die. Oh, oh, teleporter. Oh, double teleporter. Oh, and there's roller skates, I believe. Ah. Oh, why didn't you move up? Oh, well, you blocked. At least he only ate all of my body except for my eyeballs. Oh, you can push the bombs so the graphics so says. Push things under the ground. Cool music. Is that Very a bomb? colorful? Don't touch that guy. No. I think it might be that spinning thing. That? Oh yeah, try that. Yep. There you go. So you I guess if you push on top of a bad guy, he will perish. Try yes. Boom! So if he was in the way. There is someone who's in the way. There you go. That guy. Aha! That's a teleporter. So we get the stuff first. Get the guy that moves back and forth. Oh! Oh! What? Oh! Stopped him! Didn't blow him up. Interesting. Chompy, chompy Venus fly traps. Yeah, I feel oh. like those are actually walls. Chompy walls. They look like mouths. Go back. Oh, goes to something. Yeah, it goes somewhere else. Ah! Get me off this crazy ride! <laughs> Yeah, see, I was inside there, and apparently oh. I missed some of those. Oh, oh yeah, recovered. at the top. Yeah, you didn't get those. Or they recovered. Candy on the bottom corner. I did get those. 
and there's a path up to the right as well. Candy and bottles of pop. Candy and booze. It's oh. for me. Okay, next one. It's it's a fun game with lots of things to collect. It's a collectathon. Uh, the next game is Dragonwood by Michael Borman. Sterile Dragonwood. 707. I don't want to say what that sounds like. <gasps> uh, oh, yeah. We played this a little bit. Very nice graphics. I will defeat you with the power of jumping. <laughs> That's right. The moon looks uh, very, very good moony. Moon. And this tree is amazing. Oh, good jump. Oh, oh, spikes. Floor spikes. I heard that might have been part of the music, oh. though. Oh. No! Oh! Oh, I turned into a house. <laughs> vote count is catching up a bit. Still 500 short of last I think it was just the music, count. but it might have been. 500 short? Wow. Duh. Ah! When he's coming to Oh, thank you for such the helpful information! <laughs> It's it's not the uh, knowledge of what to do. It's the ability of what to do. <laughs> or the Sometimes it's the or knowledge. The difficulty of what to do. That's a that's a hard jump. Ah! Oh, secret spikes. Oh, you avoided them somehow. Secret spikes. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh! It, I'm melting. That's your last checkpoint. It's good the vote count is catching up. Like some categories have more votes than last year, and some categories have less votes than last year. Ah! Okay. Uh, I want to try. I want to try for just a little bit. Like the 2600 have more votes than last year. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> what does the button do then? For the future use only. It's for, uh, for bullets. <laughs> when you get, you, when you get the bullets. It's right. for the uppercut that you learn to do. Because you're obviously some sort of monk. Yes. What is the game called though? Uh, I don't have it in front of me. I think I'm safe there. Uh, Dragonwood. Oh, no dragons yeah, yet, you're... but we are in the woods. So oh. the way you move, it seems like you must be a monk or an old person. <laughs> He's a little hobbly. Yeah. Uh, gotta get through this Dragonwood. I'm, I'm out of no. my medication. Oh my god! Okay, one more try. My medication. <laughs> gotta get to the pharmacy. It's on the other side of the dragon. My wood. bones. <laughs> <laughs> Not those bones. The thing is, it's like, like when I say that it looks like, like they're like an old person or something. Like it's a very convincing. Yeah, it looks very deliberate. Shuffling, he's having a little. He's not very fast, you know. Yay! Yay! Oh, is that a dragon? That looks like a dragon. Looks like That's a dragon gonna breathe wood. fire. Anyways. I think I have to jump over some fire very soon. No. No. Going to breathe fire. Good. Saving that for someone that didn't realize it was a dragon. I had to remove some votes from last year. That number happened. I. Oh, there's something over top. Of it. it's very... the mouse? Oh, it is. I don't know. My bones! <laughs> My. Oh, I made it! Yay! Woo! We completed the game. It's a work in progress. Yep. Uh, very good start. The graphics are really nice. Uh, Planet Rescue Mission! I think when I stood up, it flashed. Uh, Planet Rescue Mission by Zdenek uh, Zuber. Auxiliary or main game? Ooh, let's do the main game. Oh, good graphics. Planet Rescue Mission. Okay, press button. We've seen it. Skip all the information we need to know. Get right to the confusion. <laughs> you're you're telling no, no, me I'm, to get I'm going. I'm saying that. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Feels good. 
avoid skulls. Avoid walls, I'm I think guessing. The skulls. I think the skulls are there even. Oh. Oh. oh yeah, we played this one. Fuel. You're running out. Oh, the walls! The walls have killed you. I think it depletes your fuel fast. Oh, the walls! Oh, you have the same fuel for a different helicopter? Deadly. <laughs> so the the helicopter's transferred it, transferred its <laughs> tiny amount of fuel. Oh, does it start again? Not couch no compliant. No couch compliance. Oh, oh, there we go. It's working. For us. It is. Oh! Oh! Ah! I think it gives you full fuel, so it doesn't matter how much you do. I wouldn't. Why? Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Careful! Well, you told me not to hold it down, and I was like, oh no, I'm gonna die! Well, when you need to. Does it use fuel to hold it down? I think it goes a little bit faster. Yeah. So What's up there? Uh, someone have to oh, rescue. Up? Yeah, you gotta rescue. Oh, the rocks. Walls. Come on. <laughs> Tips and tricks. Try to avoid dying. Ooh, good tip. <laughs> That's a good one. You gotta write that down. Yeah. I always forget that one. I think I've heard it before. Uh, variations of it, I think. Avoid death for high score. <laughs> That's another one. <laughs> Wait. It does not have, it's a drone, it does not have a very big battery, but it does have magical charging, instant charging capabilities. Remember to watch out for skulls and also stones. Yeah, so he can walk over the stones, but my helicopter. He killed them. Success! He's Apparently, been murdered! He has been vaporized. <laughs> oh Success my god, my fuel! Oh no! Oh. oh, it gave you full fuel. And deleted one of my <laughs> lives. That's a brutal. Oh, there's fuel. Might as well. Get Might as well. Might as well. Yay! All your fuel to get the fuel. That's right. I'm down to where I was before. Before I got the fuel. I'm sure there's a better one. One skull. And a door. I can't open it. <laughs> I thought, oh, touch the door to open it? No. You do not have the key. Do not no, pretend you have the key. Uh, because you don't have it. Natushpa. Oh, that looks like a graphics card. Let's get, get the graphics card first. And then you'll figure out what you're going to do. You're going to try for the door? Because I didn't see any other I'm sure. way. I'm sure that's right. It's yeah. got to be right. I think the door will be automatically open. I mean, it is a little to... bit weird that, like, you fly into a pillar to <laughs> go through, <laughs> but anything else you touch kills you. Not that pillar. Okay. Here, Here we, we go. go. Oh, Woo! it works! That's deadly. It's like, oh, do I have the card, or am I going to die if I touch this? It's very cool. Yeah. The graphics are great. I just got Funny, it, it gave you a, like a dark room in the second room, yeah. and there hasn't been one since. Ooh, this is, this is very. <coughs> There's shadows. That's really nice. I didn't notice that at first. So the pillars. Ooh, the graphics card. You're gonna have. So, so like going on. Oh yeah. No! Ah! Is there bad? Oh, there's bad guys everywhere! <laughs> there you go. Yeah, great music too. Very uh, fitting. Ow! So you keep shocking yourself? Is that what's happening? Yeah. Oh. I need to like touch something first to unshock. Is it possible that when you put it back together, you forgot to connect the ground? <laughs> <laughs> it seems that way. And you are on the ground? Uh, the next one is not 
uh, does not have a binary, a public binary, so we have to show a video. Okay. So let's show the video of it as soon as I switch over to the right input. Great music. Use a key to unshock myself? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh, so this is called Unnamed Platformer. Ah, I recall. I recall announcing it. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, I recall it being announced. I don't know if I did it. Yes, you might have. By uh, Yanush Habovsky, uh, Shanty77, and Yurek Vyshinsky, uh, Odinek, Odawanek, Odawanek. So it looks really cool, and I'm, I'm very eager to play it because it's a it platformer cool. yeah. with disappearing platforms. <clears throat> duck! No, duck! Ah! Get those coins! Run! Ooh, it's got yeah, we've inclines. Moved in, we've moved into the um, incomplete part of the... Yes. Because I think he shot stuff before. Uh, moving and, platforms... And like the backgrounds are is incomplete or something. Like that. It Possibly. looks very cool. Yes. Yeah, I don't think he's uh, there's no health, so he's yeah. got infinite. And flying things. So I'm hoping this does turn into some something that uh, they release. And uh, character outline. Yes, that's always nice. Yeah. And uh, very detailed enemies. And um, I see a power. Up. <gasps> oh my it. god, angle shooting! Oh, yes, he, he is affecting it. It is flashing when he shoots it. Ah, angle ah. shooting. Oh, really? Yep. So you can hold. Do you have to. Hmm. When you press the button, does he stop moving? Or can you run and shoot? Because that doesn't. That would be hard to do angle shooting. Ah. Oh, no, not. No. No, you can do that. Oh, he did stop there when he shot. Because some games are like, you hold down the button, then you can aim all around to right. shoot. I want to see him shoot again. I see him get the health. No. Come on, shoot. Oh, you missed one. It's down there. Get it. No, he was... Oh, he didn't shoot there. Yeah, these are, are some 8-bit. No, these are all 8-bit. No 5200 games were nominated. Because there's really very few 5200 games even made during uh, the year. Um, oh, you can kill. Ah. Okay. But none were nominated this year. Okay. I think we've seen most of that now. There's like a bunch more minutes. Okay, the next game we're going to, actually the next category we're going to move on to. There's a bit difference between, uh, there's a little bit of difference between mostly graphics, memory, and input, but they're based on the same kind of hardware. Uh, a Doom by, oh, yep, let me switch over. Darcy knows, Darcy knows. Uh, by Kshishtov uh, Shvesjitsky, uh, Saint. Refresh, Damon. And it's Doom! For me. Start up the game. Yeah, the 5200 doesn't have much RAM, so it does have a limitation in that way. Entering Hangar. Hangar. Hangar the Horrible. Hangar, Hangar the Barbarian. <laughs> so, it's Doom. It's got Doom music. It's got Doom levels. Darcy's currently fighting a pillar. <laughs> I was trying to see if he could straight. Oh. Uh, well, there's only one button. I think it's just a uh, shoot. Yep. And I just was trying. And the keyboard is for opening doors, but uh, oh, there's a passageway. Shoot the bad things. And you don't get to see your gun ah. or the bullet, but you are shooting. Okay. Like these are all working purposes. Yep. But pretty, pretty quick 3D. Pretty good representation. 
of, of Doom. Oh, you got the shotgun. Nice. Oh, no, it switched over to the shotgun automatically. the door and I can try some keys. So go right up. I'm sorry. <laughs> right up against it. Okay, so I'll see you still. Oh, oh that's that's an door. Door. I didn't oh, move. I did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Blaming me for your button presses. I got plenty of things I do wrong. I don't need to get heck for <laughs> things I didn't do wrong. You did it. Oh! Oh no! Go back. Go down to that. That's cool. That's cool. What was it? You went to the menu and then went back into the game. That is cool. Isn't that cool? That is unusual. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Control. I'm uh, running out of keys. Uh, I can press start. Select option. Oh, weird. Maybe it's on the other joystick. It might. Maybe you can't open the door yet. Uh. It's on the other joystick either. Weird. Maybe not. Atari oh, Blast. Wait. Is this a button or a barrel? Oh, it's a barrel. You can shoot it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. None of the keys open the door. Weird. That's very interesting. Okay. We're gonna move on to the next game. Boom. Atari Blast is one of the best games on the 5200. It is so cool. Uh, Double by uh, Vladimir Yankovic, uh, Pop Milo, and uh, Radek Sturba, who is raster for the title music. Did did it go to an empty um, directory, or did you load Let's something? Let's find out. Double? Yeah. Empty. I'm going to check all the rest of the directories, because that's silliness. That's just silliness. Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, hi. Meow. Yep, it's a zip file. Meow. It's a zip file. There we go. Empty directory day, for it says. <laughs> <laughs> all the rest are fine. I just checked them all, so we shouldn't have to do that again. Ooh, vacuum. What's going on? I thought it finished. Maybe it's empty. Mm. Ow! What the hell? <laughs> did it used to do that? It does it from time to time. No, it did. It's oh, just when okay. it's really dry out. It must be really dry out today. Empty directory day. <laughs> great, great song. Heard it before. Um, let's do it. So, this is like that game where you do 16 and 16 together makes 32. Okay, drop it, drop it. And drop a 2 somewhere. Uh, drop an 8 somewhere else. <laughs> 32 near the 16. Because eventually that'll become, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, no. Put it on the feet. Yeah. Oh, and then drop the 16 beside the 16. There you go. Uh, Unfortunately, the uh, should have dropped it. I I realize the terrible terrible mistake that I have made. <laughs> I'm regretting life, but uh, what can you do? What can you do? doesn't hurt with a key. I don't understand this key thing. Like you hold a key in your hand and you touch the 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 computer. Oh, Darcy's getting it now. I don't have a key nearby, unfortunately. Can it be any? Oh, there we go. Combo! 
Combo! I don't remember them being, some of them being black. I thought they were all colorful. Very strange. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the middle columns lost the color. Yeah, that's right. I, I don't remember that happening last time. That's very strange. Maybe because I keep shocking my 800XL. It's like, no, no colors for you. No colors for you. I think that is that is a bug, because I don't remember that from last time. <gasps> that too is very buried. Uh-oh. Yeah, but what do you do? I like there's no good place for it. I you guess. have to get the 16 the and then put it. it... Oh, yeah, that. This is not good. You got to dig out that... No, no, I'm not digging anything. This game is over. <laughs> it's over, I said. Oh, Pop Milo. Some uh, different hardware you're playing on. I'm not sure. I We played this game before. Let me just re... See, I'm, I just didn't get close to it. Let me turn it off, turn it back on, and you reload it. And um, we'll see what it does this time. I think the colors were there at the beginning, and then they stopped. Yes. Yeah. Double. Double. Yeah, see, they're fine now. And it was at some point, I think... Yeah, it was weird. Hmm. Shouldn't be black tiles. Yeah. And it was way too early for a screensaver to kick in, which usually is the thing that disrupts the colors, I find. See, that's all fine now. So something... I'm going to blame me shocking the 800 XL. Dark's going to do better this time. Let's see. He knows the rules. He knows the rules. Do -do -do -do. I don't think I'm doing it right. But... Uh, no, it's fine. No, you're good. You're good. You're not bearing anything. You just don't want to put... Bigger tiles on top of smaller yeah, tiles. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Sometimes you're kind of stuck. You are, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it all looks good now, Pop Milo. I think it's. I think it was just my system doing something super funky. Wait till you get to a thousand, then we'll move on. Oh no! no! You did the thing that you're not supposed to do the Wait, thing. The color to. was close enough that I was confused. <laughs> you got tricked. I tricked myself. <laughs> oh, you can put the four there. Oh, oh, you're back to good. You're back to back to good again. I'm almost bad. So this is a uh, different twist on um, 2048. Is that the name of the game? Yeah. So it's like it's like a mix of Tetris and 2048. Good kitty. Are you a good kitty? Yes, you are. Nice. Need to get that to 512 and you're on your way. Yeah, getting close. Getting close. I mean, it would have been the wrong decision. <laughs> so, you know, not that too bad. Oh, so close. Oh, yeah, you can put it there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oops. That's realized, still fine. I realized too late that yeah. it was... Still. An error! Error in line one. Oh, oh, no, no. 
Was 512 as high as it goes? No, it no. just combined to the right. Yeah, instead, yeah. combined to the left. There are rules, and I don't necessarily know what they are. <laughs> Computers must follow these rules. Well, you still have another chance. You have multiple. There's two 256s. So it's, it's inevitable that it's going to happen. Oh, no, don't put it there. Don't no, put it there. I'm, uh... Uh, Boo. Yeah, well, the 256. Uh. Oh, no, don't. No, no. Calm down. <laughs> calm down. No, I will not calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Telling me to the calm down. The cursor has to point at something. <laughs> Until you find out where you're going to put it, it is necess almost yeah, necessarily yeah, yeah, yeah. pointed in the wrong direction. I'm going to touch this light first before touching. Ow! <laughs> Still got zapped. <laughs> oh well, God. that light might not be grounded. It's definitely not. Because it didn't zap me. Uh, the next one actually is a video that we need to play. So let me play the video. Um, Thrust says use a key again. <laughs> I don't have a key. Do you have a key in your pocket? No, I, my keys are upstairs. That's crazy. What happens if you need the keys? In my office? Touch it with the key? I will. Next time. What you do is you... Do I touch? touch you touch... I touch you, and then I touch it. And then you get shocked! <laughs> Transference. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know if you have to like do it at the same time. Something like that. Oh, is the audio off? No, it's on. You're not playing. The uh, controls are not responding! <laughs> it's by uh, Mark Keats, Wrathchild, and Mark Moxon, uh, and Sal Escovel for the music. There's no audio, though. And that is the video Looks we really have cool. for it. Yeah, it's uh, a port of a very classic game, Elite. Uh, okay, now back to the system, where I don't have to touch it, because it's already loaded. Thank goodness. Um, and the next game is, that we're going to take a look at is Flimbo's, Flimbo's Quest. Quest by uh, Yaroslav Padula, um, and who is Solo NG, and uh, Valdek Pavloshkek, uh, Lau for the code. All right, Mihaj, Flimbo! Go for it! And Mihao Spilovsky, Miker for music. Nope, oh, you went inside. Press it again. There you go. Away from the door. You gotta shoot the guy that's flashing. And collect his thing. There you go. Oh, oh you cannot move while you're shooting. Yep. Lesson number one. You cannot move while you shoot. This game was invented by the math industry to sell more math. Big math! Oh, you gotta watch out for big math. They'll try and get you every time. What? <laughs> big math manipulating the video games of our youth. To try and teach them math. It's the worst. It's the biggest conspiracy of all time. So now you have this scroll, which I think is what... Ah! You fell into a pit. Yes. A very subtle pit. Very subtle pit, but <laughs> uh, a pit nonetheless. Oh, shoot that flashy guy. Yeah, I know. I was trying. But, yeah, yeah, this one you can't move while you're shooting. Yeah. There you go. You have the scroll. And I think you need the scroll to get to the next level. Impressive parallax, yeah, really nice parallax in this. Watch out for cliffs. I haven't played this in a while, but I think you go You're to the running up. end and watch out for the pit. And then you go in the door. This might be that door? Yeah, Probably. try that door. Oh, no. This is the time collecting all the magical coins so you can buy stuff at the wizard shop. And now you have to go back. Is there a technical reason why the enemies use the same colors as the ah! platforms as ba and backgrounds? Um... Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh God. Sick. Am I gonna throw up? I can't remember. This... It's been such a long time since I played this game. Did I eat a, uh, snail? Snail offerings. There is a wizard shop, which is the place it wears off. That's where you start. Yeah. 
So that's the wizard shop. Ah, no! So press up. And you can buy <laughs> you can buy things. Um, you have 285. And I think go to the scroll and press on it. Up, up. Oh no, bro. Right. Scroll right here on top. Press on it. Click your button. No, nothing. Go to the S scroll. Sick. Don't get that one. Press that one. I can't remember. I can't remember all the things. So definitely look up instructions when you're playing this game. <laughs> Software sprites. Yeah. There's limitations on different modes, and you have to share colors, common colors. I mean, I think it's very similar to like 2600, where the the missiles. Oh, I. I. That's exit. exit. Oh, that's exit. Yeah. I thought it was the magical pressing it. Oh, yeah. uh-oh. I mean, we played this I game. I think I just poisoned myself. It let me buy poison. <laughs> I can't buy anything else, but I can buy poison. <laughs> I can't remember how to play. Okay. Ah! Ah! Not shot. Okay. Yeah, definitely look up how to play that, because we're not doing it justice. Uh, next game <laughs> is Last Ninja. Uh, by Jakub Husak, Michał Spilowski. And Adam Vahovsky. Last picture. Music. Classic game. Press the button. I am terrible at this game. So do not expect anything from either of us when we play this game. Oh, the space bar. Oh, my old bones. Fight, kick, punch, up, down, left, right button. There's kick. There's kick. <laughs> Go back to the other screen and practice your kicking. Ah. There, practice your kicking. There's punching. There's low punch. There's kick. There's kick. Guess that's block. Yeah. Okay. You have trained well. <laughs> trained, anyways. <laughs> Destroy him! Oh, you're kicking him! Nice! Nice! The enemy is down at half. You're down even further. You're getting your ass beat. You're not doing... Oh, you're blocking. Good. Good. And you're almost dead. And you are dead. You are a crumpled pile of clothes on the ground. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Oh, you're getting him. Just keep kicking him. Kick him. Kick his head. Kick him while he's down. Yeah! Woo! We you got beat, one of them! You beat the game! We made, <laughs> we made him a crumpled pile of clothes on the ground. <laughs> which is the goal! If you strike me down, I'll become more powerful. Than I was before. <laughs> then if you... No. That then doesn't if make you, any sense. No. Oh. Get that. That looks important. It flashed. Bend down. Oh, there you go. Oh, you've got a sword. <gasps> try, try and use the sword. What's the point of a sword if you can't use it? We're probably missing uh, vital information on how to switch to the sword. And it is probably a key. Let's try keys. What then it says? Gonna reset the game. Using and holding. Oh. But you're not even holding anything. Oh. oh my gosh, was that a thing I could do before? No, that's a me. That's a me thing. Oh. Yeah, this game's gonna be, uh... Oh, is that something? Oh, turn around. I wanna see what he does. Face. Oh, he's cheering. He's tapping his foot. Oh, I can move on the keyboard. This is probably a keyboard game more than anything else, because there's... Oh, there we go! Oh! Now we're yeah. it. Oh, now we're... It's a space bar. Now it's on. But they probably got... Oh, too I've now. seen people die many times. I'm this. gonna go kill the other guy instead. Yes. Yes, let's do the sword And by thing. kill him, I mean probably he will kick my butt. Yes. Even though I have a sword, I don't think it'll help me much. Now, the sword should do more damage, I would think, than your fists. But maybe your fists are uh, registered weapons. It's, it'll do more. It's, it's not that they won't do more. It's that I have fewer hit points, and I don't know how I managed to be kicking him instead of being kicked. Sta slash! 
Oh, yeah, it did do more damage. You, oh, yeah, way more damage. You did sustain Crumbled injuries. Crumbled pile of clothes! <laughs> you did sustain injuries, but uh, your sword did do a lot more damage. Get him, you're not... Oh, you are. Oh, you are dead. Next game! It's still flashing away. Mm. This only happens in the winter. What's that? Uh, where I get shocked. The last game is Popeye. I remember this fun game that people were playing in computer science in grade eight. Oh, what was that? It was... It was shock. It was... Oh, it's below zero. There's static electricity <laughs> everywhere. Your computer has just reset. <laughs> All your work is gone. <laughs> it was You're gonna so fail. <laughs> Street Loader from the Last Ninja Two is the best chip tune ever. Oh my God, yeah. Xex, yes. So this is a VBXE game. It's loading into VBXE. It is Popeye by W O J. Watch, watch. It uses uh, an advanced output graphics resolution that the retro tink does not understand which is unusual so luckily he has provided options for that so he can play it he's uh, winking at us at a furious rate <laughs> um watch is currently putting music in the game so this is before the music was put in. So he, ha he, st he hasn't released a version with music in it yet. Have you played this game? Yes, you must have played this game. No, you can't punch him. Get away. Oh, he's not moving in this one, so it's okay. Punch it. Oh, you gotta punch the bottles. Collect the hearts. Either punch or avoid the bottles. And don't touch... Bluto? Brutus? I can never remember. Even when you're this guy? Uh, yes, you can do it when you're that guy. Yeah. It is very high res. It's using the um, video card, the add-on video card, the VBXE, which is the video card I was troubleshooting with my yellowness. Is there jumping? No jumping. No jumping in this game. There is punching. Popeye has... Yeah! Punch it! Punch it! You gotta face it and punch it! Oh, no! So much outrage. So much. Um, and there's actually a higher resolution than this, but my retro tank doesn't understand that resolution. And it's like an interlace resolution. Oh, you missed it. And don't stand in the center because both bottles come at the same time. Here, let me try. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Popeye, catch! going on upstairs I feel like is your robot vacuum, still vacuum going? cleaner is uh did you let it humping go the chair <laughs> it does sound like that you can go up and down the la uh stairs and ladders actually you only go down the ladder so let's see if i can punch you collect all the hearts why you did you only have level. one bottle coming at you ah uh, that's a good question i don't know okay oh probably because the spinach was there Ah. That's a possibility, but I... The what? The spinach? The spinach. Spinach? Spinach. How do you how do you say spinach? Spinach. spinach. With the ch? With the ch, because ah. there's a ch in spinach. There is. It's not a j. Spinach? It's not spinach. Spinach is when you take the spinach <laughs> and you spin it. Spin it around. It's got so much <laughs> spinach going on. It's spinning so fast. This is a soup. Uh-oh. Oh, I think it was. I yep. I don't know if that's how it acts in the original arcade. I've never noticed that before. Hmm. Any experts on Popeye here that know whether the sea hag... The inability for Popeye to jump, which makes perfect sense, by the way. He's an <laughs> arms guy, not a legs guy. Yeah, he's got but huge arms. But the fact that arms. he can't um, jump is still... Uh, it's still a thing. It's still a thing yep. that... Uh, <laughs> He's got to work on it. No, d He's but can he normally jump? Uh, in the in cartoons? The no, in the game. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. I mean, it makes sense, but it's like, it's just like, I'm used to being able to jump in a game, and when you can't jump... 
Yeah, it's just it's distressing. <laughs> and I'm not super familiar with this game. Like, I mean, I'm familiar with it, but I, yeah. I haven't played it a time, so I don't have, like, those. So here's level two of it. Boom. And it's a pretty short level, so we'll, we'll go to level three to show, show level three. It's not many hearts. As long as I... Okay, there you go. <laughs> Bing! I love how it... Uh, makes a screen shake. Mm. When this game came out in the arcades, everybody was just blown away because it had such high resolution graphics well beyond any game that came out before it. Mm. And it, to people, it looked like the cartoon. It's like, oh my God, it has like real life graphics. <laughs> <laughs> For people back then. Ooh. They spin in the arcade. Oh my god, I wasn't looking. <laughs> is that is that the guy that will gladly give pay you tomorrow for a hamburger today? It's wimpy. Oh, wimpy. Yes. You are correct. Just stay right here. And about five more. One, two, three, four, five. Five left now. Oh no 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 no. Over here. Oh. Ah! Avoid. Uh-oh. Wow, there's a... Uh, oh, got the last one. A great many... Um, so do you jump up and grab the uh, baby... S sweet pea? Sweet pea? Yes, you grab on, but it has to be low in the sky. Ah. It has to be low enough. Otherwise, you don't get it, and you fall to the next one down. So this one's interesting. You go back and forth. You can punch the buzzard. Punch the buzzard for a ah. lot of points, actually. Right in this dumb nose. And this is a very long level because you build a ladder up to the top and it takes a lot of letters. Ah. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'm just going to die on the buzzard. And we'll move on. Oh, uh, or there's no collision? Yeah, there is. Okay, there we go. Popeye by WOJ. And that is the last game for Atari 8-Bit. And the last game for all the nominations. So, now is your job out there to go vote. You gotta vote. It's important. It's not, like, as important as civil elections, but sure. it's only slightly less important. <laughs> Just that much less important. <laughs> to voice your opinion on which games you like out of all the different categories. So, now we're going to go move on to a brand new game. Look at that tired cat. So cute. And the game we're going to be playing is Tony. But first... Oh, screensaver kicked in. First, we're going to uh, learn a little bit about Tony. And go through what this is all about. So, Tony uh, is uh, coded by Pop Milo. Who? Why is the computer rebooting? Did it have an update? Weird. Did you touch it? And it shocked? Well, what I mean... mean? Definitely need that to see the chat. Um, okay, so Tony is made by uh, Vlad Vladimir Yankovic, Pop Milo for the code, uh, Rafał Dudek for the graphics, and Michał Zizitski for the sound. And um, the first demo was posted on February 5th. The game we're going to be playing is February 11th build, so a couple days ago. It's 40K, XEX, other games by Pop Milo, Blocks, Dark Keep, a Double, which we played, Ink Spill, uh, The Monk, There Are Many, Tony, uh, Wonder Boy. And uh, this one we're going to be playing is available in the Atari Age forums or on the itch.io site they have. And I've been following the development of this game because it's a platformer. It uh, is reminiscent of Montezuma's Revenge, which is a fun, fun, amazing game. Um, and its development kind of started in 2022. And there's at least five platforms that they're actively developing this for right now. So they're really going big with this one. Uh, for the Amiga, a demo has been released. Uh, May 27th was the, uh, 2023 was the first demo for Amiga. Commodore 64, a uh, demo was released on October 1st, 2023. Atari 8-bit, demo released February 5th, 2024. Um, they're all also planning for the Jaguar making one. It's at an advanced stage as of November 13th. Um, and the Atari ST as well. 
so two other Atari platforms. And also, they've said it's in an advanced stage on November 13th. Uh, the ZX Spectrum version is on hold right now. I think they're looking for a developer, a programmer for that one. Um, and they mention maybe bringing it to a Sega platform. They didn't say which one. Might be a uh, Sega Master System, might be Genesis. I don't know. If Pop Milo's still in the uh, chat, maybe they can uh, chime in on that. And they want to do a color Atari 8 bit VBX E version using the graphics card uh, that we kind of just showed off a little bit. Um, and based on the graphics that are in progress for the Atari Jaguar. So let's just take a look at. Um, I think it's this video. Let me restart it. Yeah, this kind of compares a couple of the different versions of the game for different platforms. I'll take a quick look at this. Only 23 seconds. It's the Atari XL version. Oh. Oh my god. That might be copyrighted. There's the Commodore 64 color version. Looking very nice. And the Jaguar in progress color version. Wow. Very, very nice. So that's a quick comparison. Oh my God. Why did it restart? No. <laughs> um, and here is a fly through of the levels. Oh, Darcy knows. Darcy knows. And I did print this out. I was going to say, that looks like the thing you printed out. <laughs> and it shows in color kind of the fly through of the levels. And I'm going to log into this computer because it restarted for some reason. Try and get the chat back. Oh my god. There we go. Carl G says, is anyone dumb enough to try and pause the stream while watching live? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think when you resume, it resumes to the live part ah. and doesn't like so it doesn't keep pause buffering. It, it just, like, I think I've tried that with some other... Visually mutes, visually and audibly <laughs> mutes it. <laughs> kind of mutes it, <laughs> but somebody will have to tell me. Um, and let's take a look at the Amiga version of this. Quick look at it. And the Amiga version looks very, very similar to the um, Atari 8 bit version. And you can change the color. It is a monochrome game, so they've used a very high resolution. Um, graphics mode in the mm. Atari 8-bit. We're just going to look at this very briefly because it pretty much looks the same. Mostly for the music, I guess, would be the biggest difference. Oh, okay. Uh, and then let's take a very quick look at the Commodore 64 version. I think this is a black and white version of the Commodore 64. Let's move it. Yeah, both from Saberman. Yeah, it looks the same. Yeah. So they've done, they've tried to keep it very consistent across the different platforms. So I think, um, I think the resolutions are slightly different, but I'd have to compare them. Because the C64, well, no, C64, he has no, a bird in his hat same. now. He's got what in his hat? Yeah, a bird. Oh, he captured a bird in his hat. Captured a bird, and he yeah. captured another one there. I didn't know that. I would not have guessed that that hat was a bird trap. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, I think it uh, also injures you a little bit. The Amiga version is quite underwhelming for the hardware. Pseudographic says. And I think they were just they've directly translated over the the graphics from a lowest common denominator across them, because obviously. 
it's quicker than redoing them each time. But it looks like they are planning for higher resolution and color on on platforms that can support it. Okay, so I think now it's time to get to the game. Boom. Okay, there you go. And we've kicked into screensaver mode, but I think it's okay. This game is fine with uh, XEX. Loads faster. Or not. Let's see. No, let's reboot it. It's acting up. It's so it has, oh, it has a screensaver mode that doesn't unscreensaver? It carries over. I've seen a lot of games that don't take into account... Like they don't delete this, the previous... They just info. go, oh, let's use the default. But the default has changed since then. Some games keep in mind that they have to turn off the screensaver. Tony, Montezuma's Treasure. This game is a tribute to legendary Tony Halleck. And we'll learn more about it right now. Uh, 1921 to 1998 was a Polish traveler and explorer. Halleck was born in Torn, Poland during the Second World War. He joined the French resistance. He was awarded the French War Cross for his actions. After the war, he worked as a correspondent for NBC over 30 years. He made over 400 documentary films, wore 13 books and articles for the press. I was woke. Oh my God, so fast. <laughs> Tony, are you going to sleep all day? What time is it that I ask? We've been waiting for you in the office for half an hour. Okay, I'll be right there. The plane was late yesterday because of the storms over Mexico. I'm on my way. Okay, Tony, I'm waiting. I'll make your favorite car. The editors of the Washington News always are eagerly awaited my return from the exhibitions of reporter with treasure. Describing my adventures brought readers close to unknown civilizations. You're Tony, after all, the editor-in-chief, greeting me with a sincere smile and an instinct hand. Hello, Steve, I have some great material for you on the Tolo Bridge Wheels. You will love it. Okay, but there's some urgency, Tony. No kidding. Steve arched his bushy eyebrows as he spoke. I knew it was urgent. Your coffee. I hope you're well. Rest before your new trip, Margaret asked flirtatiously. A news expedition? I returned from Mexico last night. Yes, Tony, there's no time to rest. Other papers are sending their reporters. We need to get this material first. Steve's voice sounded like a father's command, full of firmness and a friendly note of encouragement. I love the coffee that Mar Margaret makes. That's how you listen to uh, podcast. <laughs> what is it, Steve? Okay. <laughs> you know the story of how Mal M Miguel discovered Montezuma eyes revenge? Yes, everyone knows I'll do. Uh, believe in the truth of these reports. That's the point. The director of the Natural History Museum has contacted Miguel, but he's more interested in telling the story of a tequila than providing scientific proof that he's indeed discovered the address ruler ruler's treasure. Our readers want proof too. Steve, I got back from Mexico, <laughs> America yesterday. Should I fly back to Mexico? You're the best, Tony. Margaret said, handing me the envelope and winking uh, gently my direction. The envelope contains a plane ticket and some cash. When should I start in New Jersey? You'll have time to drink your coffee, Tony. Steve said, patting me on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I miss some of it. <laughs> Tony Montezuma's Revenge is brought to you by Monochrome Productions. Code, Vladimir Yankovic. Concept and graphics, Raphael Dudek. Music, Ooh, where's my pronunciations? Uh, uh, Michal uh, Bezetsky. Testing, Marcin Nowak. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna try. Uh, Vladimir's thanks to my girls, Emma, Irma, and Magda. Magda. Uh, oh, 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 it's gone. 2023 Monochrome. Here we go. Press the button. And we're off. And I did mark on the map where we start. So don't touch the snakes. And your jump is quite... Like it's a whole section to another section. So you have to keep that in mind. So you okay. can duck. And you can but I, jump. But if I if I duck, I won't catch that bird in my hat. You definitely do not want to catch that, that bat. Can't touch skulls. Is uh, it that you can't touch them or you shouldn't? Uh, or you become one. <laughs> you become one. <laughs> Careful those spikes in the ground. Inside every human is a skeleton. Kind of hit free. Ew. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh. It's right. because on VBXE you can modify the base palette and it stays on until you restart the oh, computer. God. 
And in this game, you can actually change the color. I was gonna say, why is it blue? Oh, I, oh. I, I collected a snake! <laughs> Put him in your backpack. <laughs> we don't have a key yet. Let's try and find that nice one. That one's pretty nice. It's like pure black and white. Ah! Spikes, oh my god! Spike smites. So I think you can get Point those bomb. vials and it'll help you not die once from getting um, touched by Oh, them. I collected a bird in my hat. You did. So you got... No, the no, spikes. You can fall off that step. It doesn't look oh, like you can, but you, you can. Oh, no. You're too close. What is happening? You're too close. You're jumping over it instead of... Uh, <laughs> so you're going to be my navigator if I need it. <clears throat> so I'm going to go down first. No one was navigating for me. Well, I don't think you needed navigation. You're, you're doing, you're doing no, just fine. There's no well. point in navigating. Oh, See, you're good at collecting birds too. Yeah. Maybe better than me. <laughs> This is old school gaming, where once you jump, you commit to the jump. Uh, there's no turning around in midair. What the hell's happening up there? Oh, spikes. Double spikes. Ah, and a skull. No! Ah! No! You collected a skull! I sure did. I say stay dead. Yeah, that's... Generous, I thought. Yeah. They stay dead. If you go multiple screens away. Oh. There, there, there. Spikes. One, two. It's almost as if they don't want you here. Yeah. I'm the invader. Okay. So I actually want to go down first because there's more levels above than that bird for later. I don't know what it's used for, but it's... <laughs> well, bird nests. Okay. Go through that door. No! Spikes! This is... He's got a duck. Oh, true. The duck. Quack. So you just had to touch the ladder. Uh oh no no, no. You I went to the left. Oh I see. Yeah. I want to go down. Oh now that's we're down that, that skeleton. Level. That skeleton has a body <laughs> and a sword. Instead Ooh, of boy. just being disembodied. It is an enemy. Oh, oh, there's stuff wow. up there. That's the you get to die now uh, level for me. Yeah. So should I go left first and then jump? Yes. Oh my god. At least it starts you on the level that. Uh, does it go all the way across? This is not as bad as uh, ah! spears, we call them. That's good. But I only have four slots, so. You collected this? The only thing that would make this better is if down where it shows the key collection you have shows the skeletons and birds and stuff. <laughs> that, that you've like. collected. <laughs> you have collected five bats. Congratulations. Bring them to the museum. <laughs> <laughs> they belong in a museum. <laughs> oh, door. Instant door. door. That. Yep, he's gonna kill me immediately. Uh, uh, am I at the bottom? I think. Oh, I am. Okay. So I done. Oh, did I go all the way to the left? Trevor's all the way. Are 
much harder going the other way. First turn. <laughs> okay. Can't go there. Where is that? That's why I didn't follow it, because I didn't... Oh, that's what that means? Yeah, big yellow mark. Okay. Let's try... Let's try hard. <laughs> to not die. On spikes and stuff. On spikes and stuff. Now, I want to go down and complete that first, because it's shorter. one key before I go for it. So hard! Yeah, go up first. Thank you, Pop Milo. Yeah, I forgot that last time. Yep. Go up first in general? Or up first to get the key? I'm saying go up first. You should listen to the developer. Go up, guys. Okay, I'll go up first. Um... Should listen to the developer. He knows. He knows. <laughs> I'm gonna go try and go all the way to this one. Ah! Is there a ladder? Ah! There is. Immediately. Oh, do I have a oh, don't have a key! Ah! <laughs> Can I go to the right here? No. Oh I there's a lot of stuff in there. Uh, oh, I there mean, is. you can't get to it, but... No, I can't. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was close. Oh, there's a ladder up. I'll go up this way. I did I did code it so it frustrates it first, so you get angry and finish it in spite. <laughs> that is a good um, tactic. I've finished or tried to complete many games in spite. This game. <laughs> so now I have four potions. But no keys. No keys, and I have no room for keys. Oh, what do you do with the potion? You oh, you kill you things. use it to collect. Oh, it's not a potion. It's a sample jar. <laughs> to collect them. <laughs> oh, there's a key. Okay. This is where I died. Two keys. Oh, I'm gonna have to get rid of something. Oh no. Oh, there's it's more than four slots. Okay. Did it? Is there more, or is it just uh, prioritize keys over potions? So, can I get... Oh, I oh, can get yeah. it. You get it, but it doesn't do anything. Oh, no. It's wasted. Oh, no. I don't know why you wasted it like that. <laughs> so wasteful. <laughs> Graphics are good, and the mono gives a nice creepy vibe. Yeah, it's like it's like it's dark. Okay, where am I? You lost what? Is it here? Yes. No. Oh, yes. That is. So I need to go up. I think I went up here. Heat. Ah. 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 Yeah, there it is. Where was that? It's the one with right there. Oh, you went down. I go to get up. Go where you again. I, think I was just here, there. Here. So you must have gone through there. Yep. So you go up here. No. Then it's back. Yeah. Um, so you want to get where? To there? I need to get. Oh, so I need to go down here, across, up, up. So I need to go back. Ah! Ah!
Uh, okay. Navigator! Can I, Am I going I, too fast? You go... You're going fast enough <laughs> that I, I can't really tell. I, it's this way. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then over, over, over. Yeah. We're good. Oh, I didn't even notice that there were spikes on there, because it's like two pixels. Very sneaky spikes. I think I want to go up. Oh. Go up, up. Oh, dead end. But it gets you that. Yeah. Can I go jump to the left? Yeah. Can I? No. What is over there? I don't know. Looks oh, like a platform. platform. Oh, yep, yeah, I can. It's kind of a uh, secret. Can I jump under? Best to jump over this. Ooh, just made it. To use one to get one, so I'll still need to. But you also get a mask of points. Mask of points. The mask of points. Do I die from? Like points? you get a mask, which is the point. Of, like isn't that what you're here for? All those masks. I think so. Yeah. So all the keys know. and other I things. I was reading it too points. fast to absorb it. <laughs> but I didn't, it seems that way. I didn't follow it either because uh, my audiobook would kept the. the <laughs> The narrator kept like breaking the fourth wall and Oh yes yeah, true. Referring to the reader. See if you could jump that door then you could get up to the other two doors. <laughs> no! Oh maybe some keys are hidden though. Oh that's the end. That is the end. Ah Why'd you tell me to go up first then? The oh you. Pop Milo! You deceived me. <laughs> do, 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 do. So that's the end of the game. Oh, uh, I think he just meant go up first to get the first key. Ah, ah, ah. I'm glad you're watching, having fun watching me play. Not that up. <laughs> <laughs> not, that, not that far up. Just a little bit up. So that's not... I can't even get those. Yes or very yes? This is <laughs> yes not, or very not yes. Very up. Not so very up. Oh, my God. Okay, well, I'll get that potion now. Well. These room in them's bags. Now I need to go down. Don't waste keys to get a couple jewels. Yes. That's true. So the, you're the, you're not after jewels. Okay. I think it's this way. To go. Now they're just. Definitely need a key. And now, what did I do with this guy? I think so I went to the left. You, you collected him. <laughs> yeah, he's um. in my pocket now. <laughs> a little skull dude. Uh, what I saw was the one time you were in front of him, he moves at the same speed. Oh, so yes. if you can get ahead of him, you can collect him and that. Oh, no, that's a down ladder. Oh. Hit! Got three hearts left. Oh, am I in the bottom level? Oh yes, you are. my god! <laughs> See, that's a bat. Those other ones must have been birds. <laughs> These are the bats. The other ones are birds. Okay. It's a cavern bird. Oh, this part. Okay. At least I don't have to feel like I need to backtrack this time. I hope I don't have to backtrack. These were deadly trying to go back. Yeah. 
still have two keys. So if I maintain having And two you have keys. some sort of idol. Oh. Oh. Oh, that hmm. Is that to get through the last door, maybe? Um, I don't remember you Perfect picking timing. it up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so you're... Oh, crushers. Fast. Yeah, but he huh? doesn't cross the ladder. Right? Am I crazy? And he doesn't go all the way through, so that's not bad at all. It's actually easier to jump over. Uh, but what's what? Oh, there's. Oh, I, I did it. Yeah, and you didn't collect the skeleton. Yay. Go back, you gotta get the skeleton. Ah. No, I don't want that skeleton. Is not part of the thing on the block. Okay. Another, another points. Another key. key. Oh, good. Yeah. And we drop down, and I think we head to the top. So I have a ton of keys. Yeah. Head to the top. So do I go left from here? Uh. Yes. Excellent. It's surprisingly difficult to follow where you're supposed <laughs> to go. Where you are, I mean. Yeah. I don't... It's, it's not so big that it's... Because I'm really bad with maps and, like, memorizing levels. But this one is fairly... Or do I go to jump up? Uh, so... You came up here, you can oh. go to the left. And then up, 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 jump up, up here, up, and then... Uh, oh, I do need to go next. Oh my god, I have one life left? To live. Yes. Yeah, that's not information that helps you. No! <laughs> hey, uh, there is a train. He says, yes, the idol is the key for the last one. Uh, okay. So, we're going to do this much quicker this time. Because I'm not going to be deceived into going all the way to the top of the game. <laughs> you don't want to go that up. Not that up, just up. Just, just, up, just not up very there. up. Not very, very up. Just so you can get the first key. Which is there. And then I go. And I have So I just need the first key to make it. Uh, I do want that one. Although, keep in mind, you have no more room in your inventory. Uh, it seems to scroll. Pop no. Milo, can you confirm that it just keeps adding and adding? Does it seem to? If you're gonna waste potion by picking up the key, yeah. use a potion for- Oh, so there is lemon in this game. And because it's permanent, it permanently gets rid of the bad guy. Yeah, it's it's not working. it's not a waste if it's like a tricky spot. Especially if you, yeah, if you use it on a guy that's tough, that's going to be a pain in the ass. Then it's, um, I think I go up first. Yeah, I think each time you've gone low and then you're like, oh, I need to go up. <laughs> Except now you have to jump. <laughs> oh, well, I guess he's not it's much easier to go through the snake. There. Much, yeah, he doesn't go through the snake. That's his, his barrier. He doesn't mess with the snake. Snake! Oh, key! Go back no, up! I can't. Oh, no That's room. the down. That's the yeah, last yeah. thing I need to do. Um, come on, coordinate. Get your shit together. And the idol to finish the game. And two keys. There's two keys. So you're gonna lose your potions. Oh, use the potion first. Oh, I see it replaces. Okay. I understand now. It's not that you can't collect the key. That's right. It replaces. It replaces the potion because you have to have a key and you don't have to have a potion. And now I. Ah. Oh. Uh... Whoa! 
no potions. And you have three keys, so what happens now? Uh, oh boy. I lose that key? Am I in yes. big trouble? Yeah. No, no, because he was saying don't waste a key to get points. So oh. there must be more keys than a key. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm big trouble. It says you're getting better. Wait to uh, play all five levels. This is just the third level. Oh, nice. Can't wait. Yeah, this uh, for everyone. This is the demo of the game, so it's not the full game. Um, so it's not all. Yeah, you. Did I screw up? Like, I'm missing you, keys now? You, you just have somehow. I don't recall you going through two doors. That's a bonus. Yeah, I, I am doing better despite. Uh, Yep. Like, Montezuma's Revenge is, uh, <laughs> is like this as well. You only have so much room for things. So it takes a, a nod from that thing. At least those don't take up. I have three keys. That's, that's lots. That's lots. It's lots. That's fine. It's, it's fine. It's all fine. You're fine. I'm fine. You're fine. Everybody's fine. No, I'm not. Oh, my God. Great music. This is a hard one. <sighs> oh, oh. oh that but you can kill a door. There's two doors there. Wait, wait, where do they where do they lead? Where are they? There? There. And it leads to a key. One key. So, I do that? because it gives you a point, so it's probably not. But it takes two keys to get the to get one key. Yeah, yeah right. That's yeah. what it does. Yeah. So it's a trick. Trick. But there's a door. Um, oh, there's a potion. You have room for a potion now. Should I Are you joking? Potion. Duh. <laughs> hey, I used to tell me I will finish this game. <laughs> See, uh, he said I was getting better. That's the death knell. <laughs> that's, that's how you. That's how you lose. It's the. It's the confidence. It's the unearned uh, confidence <laughs> of telling somebody they're doing really well. Whenever I tell. Oh my god! Rage reset. Rage reset's happening. That was not good. Where's my rage reset t-shirt? Somebody put rage reset on the screen. <laughs> You want you want your game to be hard. You don't want it to be easy. You want it to be challenging. Oh my Oh my god! Oh my god, I just died like three times in a row. So quick.
too close to that ledge. Twice in a row. So sad. Now we're cooking. Got to be methodical. I just, had to, I just had to double check my, my timing so that I can breathe. Sure. You okay? You good? <laughs> breathing easy. That's a good way. Warning. I don't know if I would describe Warning. that as having breathing easy. Uh oh. The tree ball is loose. The tree ball is loose. Oh no! They don't know that warning just yet. Okay. If you shake shake the thing. Up. I want to get ready before I shake it. Oh, okay. How many treats do they get? Um, I wouldn't say too much. 17? I would say no. Maximum ten. Especially since they got into their food last night when they should not have. I think that the the gray cat was one hundred percent responsible for that. I, I really feel like the the black cat was. He looked like. He looked like. Uh, there's no way the black cat didn't also eat some of those treats. There's just no way. Okay, now I'm gonna use up one of my potions on that guy going back and forth. Because mm -hmm. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get a potion right here. Yep. And a key. So I need to make room for another one. So let's get rid of this snake thing. There's the stampede of cats. Thank you, pseudo graphics. And it's open a little bit. Oh, it's open a lot. You can close it just a bit more than that. Close just, it more? Oh, oh, actually, it's okay. It's not fully open. Oh, good. You can see my gameplay in the small corner. Cats are important. Cats are important. At least they think. They're Possibly. See, See you've used is... two keys to get here. It's pretty picks. Oh, instead of like going back? No, I'm just saying that I don't know where the other door is, but there's a key oh. right down there. For you. It's my first life. You're much better than the last game. The non -reading. Ah, like that. You will die if you stand there. It's a very clever design to not kill you right away, but if you stand there, you, you're not going to have a happy time. No happy time oh. for you. Oh, I'm so 
Let's go. Oh. <laughs> what happened? Well, a thing fell out and they both went for it. And who got it? Black Cat. Oh, you see. Okay, well... Oh. Great. I didn't do anything. You kind of did. No, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I got near it. It's static. But, it's static but I didn't touch it. Well. I didn't touch it. Oh my god. It's my mission today. Hmm? If you stand still when you enter that key from the left, you're safe. Okay, Screen. don't, don't, don't get up. Don't go towards that. It's very staticky today. Oh, I don't like this color. Yeah, well, I had to, I had to maintain the ball situation. This one. It was unpredictable. I'm guessing somebody could speedrun this game by just completely avoiding all the potions. Hey, oh, let's pick it up with his mouth. Is it empty? Cats are the cutest when they carry things in their mouths. Yeah. Oh my god. Laptop's off. What the hell is happening? Is it static everywhere? Like disrupting the computers? Okay, press a button in the far right. staticky and not safe from static either like the laptop should be completely safe from static now i have to log in uh, 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 it's so the worst it could not be worse it although could. although the static getting your last game is pretty close to it was <laughs> that is a yes it was tragic you were so close to the end i know i was all on, on my way up <laughs> It's like, this is the run you should watch. <laughs> Don't watch the other runs. You'll be mad. You'll get really mad. And yeah. I'm going to lose a key. This is how Just, it is. Yeah, it's how it is. There's too many good things on the screen. And I have to be very careful because I no. Wasted keys. <laughs> it's. I guess it's kind of good that there's more keys than you need. Yeah. It's better than. Oh, there's just enough. So don't. don't, don't well, worry. yeah. You don't want to have a soft lock. Without dying, screw yourself. Yeah. Some games are like that. It's like, oh, oh, you messed up. That's so so sad. 
so sad you you didn't do the game absolutely perfectly. I see you screwed up uh, um, uh, an hour ago on one thing. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where you use two keys. Because you're over here, and you yep. end up with too many keys, and then you get another key. There is a door somewhere there. I think the person who did the map already like, went through the door. Because there's a door like immediately on one of those levels. But you have to have gotten there. Okay, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, because like, you're missing the keys. and I don't We know. use spray diluted fabric software on the carpets at work to minimize static in the winter. Ooh. Well, one of our Atari has asthma, so I'd be, I'd be very hesitant to do that here. Although that would be very nice. We don't know what sets off his asthma, but it's been very good for like half a year. Now. I'm very happy about that. He hasn't had asthma. Too. The hitboxes are very fair in this game. Like it is pixel perfect. Uh, sometimes hitboxes are very large, sometimes they're smaller than the character. This one is like, yeah, you, you literally touch it. Why do I die on that jump all the time, and not on that guy, which is one pixel away? Why is it that, that snake all the time? I say, oh, just see that skull blinked when I got an item? Ah. That's cool. Or when I picked up something. It was either the key or oh my god. Yeah, see, it seems Whoa. like your hat doesn't kill you. Yeah. That's what I meant. Like, I when you came onto the screen, I didn't think you would die. Ooh, that's this, a key I don't need. But like it's just gonna yeah, yeah. just gonna get rid of that. <gasps> Can I not die there? Where? What happens? So, oh I see. Oh, they're all in quick succession. Jump! Yeah. Oh, and I don't need that extra key, looks like. Oh, yeah. it blinked on the uh, on the points. Here we go! Pop Miley, still there? Are you afraid yeah. of snakes in real life? No. Just in this game. Yeah! I accomplished something that should not have been as hard as it should have been. <laughs> See you soon, playing all five levels of Tony Born for Adventure. Press fire to continue. You you, you, uh, you got the special achievement that only 0.5% of all players have <laughs> achieved. Which Complete is? level with static, uh, static discharge uh, right. challenge level. <laughs> um, so they are planning on three installments of this game. So this one is part of Montezuma's Gold. Then they're going to make Ark of the Covenant. And then Shimazu Masamune Um And there is an infinite lives if you press the spacebar twice. And some of the playthroughs um, use that. This probably could be more optimized than what I did just there, but not, not much. I don't think. There might be a way like, oh, you don't need to for a harder way. Um, well, let's see. And there's a huge write-up um, that was posted on AtariOnline.pl about the Atari 8-bit release of the game uh, from Pop Milo. Um, gee, it was about time. I know. And, uh, um, that I would encourage you to read because it's a really good um, kind of interview with him about the game. Um, and I was going to read it up, but I was going to read it. So I will paste it into the chat for anybody else. Let me. So. 
switch over and I'll paste that interview or link to the interview. Boom, boom, boom. There it is. Um, you'll need to translate it if you do not speak Polish. There you go. So, uh, highly recommended. Uh, if you love, uh, if you like platformers, I love platformers, as you can tell. I really wanted to beat that game. Um, great music. Um, actually, let's let's yeah, let's do the review of it. Um, so, Tony, great platformer. Awesome. It's a high resolution monochrome game platformer. Um, kind of. Uh, homage to Montezuma's Revenge. You get keys. You get things that can kill the enemies. Lots of bats. You have a big hat. Um, so it's just a short demo um, for a planned bigger game. Yeah, it, it looked it looked great. It looked amazing. Yeah, yeah. really great graphics, great movement. Uh, very old school in the jumping. You can't turn around in midair, so you have to plan it out. Um, I'm but very... there's an upside to that. Yeah. Uh, there is, yeah. It means so, you don't so, have to change it in the air. Yeah, you don't have to plan it. You know how far you can jump. Yeah. So it's it's kind of good once you know that that's what you have to do. So I'm really looking forward to playing the full version and, of course, the sequels <clears throat> and playing it on the other platforms as well because they're planning on uh, releasing it for other platforms and higher resolution graphics for VBXE. Uh, should be a fun time. So thank you, Pop Milo, and the rest of the crew that worked on this. And uh, thank you, Pop Mile, for hanging out in the chat and, and helping us during the gameplay and cheering us on. And, and uh, yeah, it's great. Um, so this is kind of the last regular show for a little bit because the next show is the Atari Homebrew Awards, sixth annual. And that's not this weekend. It's the next, next Saturday. Next Saturday. Yeah. So at a week plus a part of a day a week plus a, eight days a day minus an hour because it's one o'clock here and it starts at noon um so yeah you're very welcome pop milo uh awesome awesome work um so if you haven't voted in the uh voting you have three days including this day to <clears throat> finish up your voting here is the link for the voting and uh just remember come back here to the twitch channel on the 24th, Saturday, at noon Pacific time, 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern time, 8 p.m. GMT. And you can watch us give away all the trophies to the winners that are determined by you. You get to vote. And uh, we'll have them live on the chat, accepting their awards. And uh, it'll be a fun time. It's always a, a great time. Um, so... That's it for today. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Thank you, Darcy, for being here. Oh. Playing the games. Thank you for having me. <laughs> um, and to everybody in the chat, Pop Milo, Dan AVC, Ivory Tower Collections, Gamma Dev, Pseudographics, uh, who else? Catball Arena, Thrust, it's Crunchy the Clown, Dan AVC, Splendid Nut, Carl G, I probably said your name already, uh, Mother 3, and I will put in the calendar an upcoming show for online gaming. And we did do it for the Atari 2600 with the one game <laughs> that you could play online, which was Combat. Darcy and I played it in separate houses. Separate online. houses, separated by vast... Oceans. Sea. What is it? A strait. Sea. Is, a sea. is it a, it's a sea? Salish Sea. Oh, well, it's also called the Strait. The Georgia Strait, yeah. The Georgia so, Strait but, is in the Salish Sea. Oh, it's a part of the Salish Sea. Yeah. yeah, we were separated by a vast sea full of monsters. I, mean, I might be exaggerating by calling it vast. It's, but it is a sea! It is a sea you would not want to swim. But not one of the seven seas. <laughs> no, it's a minor sea. <laughs> one of the minor seas. Well, thank you, Pseudographics, for tuning in. Um, let's, uh, let's see if there's, uh, anybody broadcasting that we can, uh, flip you guys over to. Let's see. Some retro gaming. There's some NES game. That's, that's usually the only thing I can hope for is 
I never see anybody playing Atari games on, on Twitch Live. Very seldom. Um, let's see. Oh, I guess you're going to be playing, watching some... What is this? Well, let's... Uh, oh, he's got a s Game Gear speedrunners. Oh, that's cool. Okay, we're going to go with that guy. Let's see. Well, we love you being here. Thank you so much. Um, so it's Raid. That's right. If I can spell it right. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure you tune in next Saturday. We might do some shows in between, but uh, I do need to get ready for the Atari Homebrew Award. So next time we see you, we'll be in front of a green screen. So bye-bye, everyone. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.